When I have you have you ever gone to therapy? No, I should. This is big stuff, Joe. For you, yeah. Have you ever just like thought about humanity? Every girl is gonna have nudes online. What? Man, this is gonna sound dumb. Okay. <laughs> Do you believe in dinosaurs? Yeah. No. Are you a religious person? Yes. It's getting crazy out here, Joe. I don't think Adam and Eve ever happened. Wait, and some of it makes sense. No, it doesn't, but all right. I feel weird about that. I don't think you believe in dinosaurs. I don't know, bro. Like now I think I need therapy. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Don't Be Sour. I'm your host, Max Tuning, and we got this guy again, Joe Bop a Boopy. <sighs> back again. We have every, this is, this is like the sixth episode of the season. Woo! Four of which you've been in. I like it. I have no guess. So th this is, I know I joked about like just having a circle of friends, but this is actually what the future is. I feel like people enjoyed the me and Taylor one. That one did a lot better than I, I thought it was going to do. I, th I thought, I, I hate it. I, I when I was filming that I was like this is terrible this is, I thought this it was is, great this is like chaotic this is was, not going wonderful. anywhere um some uh, some updates on the pod uh first of all this sign is burnt out so it's not lit but I think it's lit I got you now it's yeah, now now it's lit it was, mm -hmm. so we're always making improvements here now as you see we got a little hair light behind Joe lighting up the back of his head we got a hair light behind me wow. lighting up my head wow Making improvements. Just gotta put my phone on silent here, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No so the, calling me. It's fine. It, they're, they're not. They're not calling. Dude, Joe, we got. I, I got a lot of heavy topics today. Heavy. Mm-hmm. Like, like spicy or like heavy. No, just like we're going. We're gonna get deep on this episode. We have only get deep. I know. And um, awesome. I just, I'm excited. I'm excited, bro. I, I think this podcast is actually one of my favorite things to do now. Really? Yeah. Better than Jeeps. I mean, no, 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 but, but I've, I've, I've learned I, I hyper fixate on things I really like. And I also invest a bunch of money into things I like, and I have put so much money into this room. I'm helping spend your money. I'm not paying for anything. I'm just sending you what to buy. I found new mics. Sh should get those. No, they're not. They're, they're nice. I'm not. Uh, I just got back from a car show sidebar. There was a cert twin turbo. I've never seen a twin turbo cert. There's a guy had a cert with a twin turbo. He said he's making a thousand horsepower. It's pretty cool. No one cares about that, bro. I thought it was pretty cool. You would have thought it was cool if you were there. What, wasn't I supposed to go to you with the show? I was supposed to drive your truck? Yeah, I had a friend drive it. You were unresponsive this morning. You never texted me. That's why you're unresponsive. Can Can you tell the people what your new car is or no? Yeah, I don't care. What? I, I, this comes I out this I've Monday. I have given up on I'm like, I'm not a, it doesn't matter. All right. What, what new I car think I'm you officially like done. Like everyone's like, when's the next video coming? Like, I think I'm good. I think I'm done. I think I'm going to sell my cameras. Like I have. The creative block is real. I have no desire. I have one of these sickest sports cars, not even like toot my own horn here. I have one of these sickest sports cars that you can buy right now. Like everywhere I take this thing, people flock to it. Mostly young boys flock to this thing, going crazy about it. And I have no desire to film it. No part of me is like, let me grab my camera and make a vlog. I'm, I'm good. Why? I just, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like in a weird way, I moved to DaVinci Resolve. I learned how to re-edit. I, I like, worked so hard to like learn how to edit on that and yeah. now that i know how to do it it doesn't seem fun to me like i don't want to edit anymore that's a crazy thing but like i have no desire i'm not like oh my god I'm, i see this angle let's do this i i'm i don't want to film i don't want to do anything why just write code all day dude what car did I'm you tired. get i got a 992 gt3 rs why sock why is there so many Vysock. numbers so it's called it's a 911 it's a carrera it's a 911 992 that's GT3 the body. That's the generation, yeah. There's too many. Why, why do they have so many numbers and stuff? Don't they don't even that's mean they anything. Call it, dude. Yeah, they do. How much do you spend on that car? That car's MSRP was 330, 328, I think. And how much did you pay for it? Yeah. You spent over a quarter million dollars on a car? Yes. Well over. That car is worth right now. If you look up my exact build and everything, half a million. Five hundred thousand dollars for that car right now. You always talk about selling cars, but then you tell me that if you sell these cars that are worth so much money, you get blacklisted from th that company that you can't buy any more cars. So yeah. it, it's irrelevant how much someone would Eventually, buy it for. Eventually, I will sell one and make all my money back. Until then, they're just like trading cards. It's like Christian with his little Charmander or whatever the hell it is. It's Charmander. Charizard. It's crazy that you and me driving around, people would think that you are way more successful than me. Yeah, I mean, I am. So that's true. That's fine. 
Well, that's because you have a new job. I not really. Joe was the most anti. He, Joe is anti-establishment. I am. I'm, it's not establishment. I'm not doing establishment stuff. Joe works a nine to five. Joe cannot come work out with us because he's like, I have to work. And normally he would always, I feel like, make fun of people who work nine to five. Yeah, but this is different. Why? Because uh, I'm not there nine to five because I have to be. I'm there nine to five because I need to be. I it's think, not the job I wanted. It's the job I needed. I think most people need to be at their job because they need to make money. Yeah, yeah but this is more like a, I'm a vested interest in this one. Like, I want to be there to make sure everything's. Explain. Well, I mean, it's not, I don't know. What do you so literally done, do all day? So, all right. So I did the software thing for a long time, which pretty successfully for a while there, we were building Shopify sites and stuff 24 seven. I had like three guys working with me about two years ago, give or take my dad, who has a big cabinet shop here in Houston. Shout it out, bro. Been into teeny cabinets. If you need cabinets, we got you. Um, he hired us to do the build an ERP. What's that? You got NetSuite. Enterprise so, resource planning. Yes. So basically think about like everything that's needed to run your company. What's coming in, what's going out, what orders are there, how much you spend on this. Basically a piece of software to track everything from what's coming in to what's going out and everything in between. Um, yeah, the woodworking industry had like no, nothing good out there off the shelf. So we're like, let's just build our own. So Why, why couldn't you implement just like NetSuite or something? It's because it's too generic for what we want to do. We want to scan every single part through the shop. We want to manufacture it all and, and calculate takeoffs and fucking usage and all I'm, this. I'm getting NetSuite. Am I generic? Well, you we sell four of the same SKUs over and over again. Every um. single thing we do is custom from a custom uh, engineering platform. So like every single job has new data that's never been seen before. Not every single. It's too custom to track at the level we wanted to with an off the shelf solution. So we mm -hmm. built our own. Um, so I took two of the guys that have been working with me doing Shopify stuff, and we were initially going to just build this ERP out and then sell it to his company and a couple other companies. You were going to sell something to your own dad? Well, like he basically was going to pay to, to build it, and then we were going to take it and we could potentially go sell it to other companies. Okay. That was the idea. So it was a master plan. Yeah. And then in the midst of that, like my dad fired the CTO they had. Chief technology officer. Which I don't even want to call him that. Just the head of that department was gone. Then we didn't have an IT guy. So I kind of filled that position shortly. Then I started implementing stuff in the shop. Then the people in the shop are looking for me for all that stuff. And it has kind of just kept going where like he's removing people and their stuff is falling on me. And now I'm to the point where I have like 80 people that are asking me shit, wanting stuff, needing this. Where's this? How do I do this? Can you be here at 7 a.m. to make sure this runs right? Can we be here set up the CNC machine? Because like we built, I'm programming the CNCs and stuff straight out of our ERP. Our ERP is communicating with these like million dollar CNC machines and all that automatically. The problem with that is when it doesn't work right, it's me now. I have no idea what you just said, but it sounds like- Basically, my dad has finessed me into taking, not taking over, but like running that side Well, he's of essentially company. like, wait a second, I had like 10 people's paint a bunch. I can just pay my son to do all of it. it Does yeah. that mean you are I mean, really good at doing a lot of- me? Does that mean you're good at doing a lot of tasks or everyone else was like doing- not very much. Well, I will say, at least with this position, like I've, I've so much job security. <laughs> it's like I'm not going to get fired. I mean, unless I'm really a shithead, I don't think my dad's going to fire me. Yeah. So I'm able to do things that I don't think normally you would want to do. I'm able like, to like fuck shit up and like piss everybody off. And like normally you would probably get written up and you probably get fired and everything else. What if you like or got like, caught masturbating in your office? I, I'd probably frowned upon, but I don't think I'd get fired. <laughs> That's a soundbite right there. God dude. damn it, Joe. Not again. <laughs> we already talked about this. You said after six. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel like, which I'm all for it. Surprisingly enough, I really enjoy it. Like I initially, I hated it, but now I'm like, no, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good so time. So wait, 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 wait. And it's less stressful, honestly. Wait, like, yeah. this, is, this, is, this is big stuff, Joe. Yeah. So, so now you, you like structure. You haven't, you, so you go, you go to work it. What time do you get to work? I've been getting there like for the last two weeks. I've been trying to get there before eight. Like I got there at six fifty the other day. You know, it's something that you Which said. Crazy. You said the other oh day. You were like, "Man, I'm so tired." You're like, "God, I worked from like, uh, like eight thirty to five today," and then that's what everyone does. I went. I went seven to six with no lunch the other day, and I thought I might die. I thought about suicide. Most people think that nine to five is forty hours a week, and really that's not because assuming you're taking a lunch, you're only working yeah. thirty five hours a week. We, when people all the time are like, "Oh, nine to five, I'm like, "No, like the cabinet shop, they go seven to four, eight to five. We have no one that goes nine nine to five. I'm probably the only motherfucker that's nine to five there. And you're enjoying it. i I am. I am. I think my dad has always wanted me to 
kind of be involved there and like take over. And I've always been like, no, it's not what I want to do. This has been an eye opening experience because I've been forced into it, but I'm actually enjoying it. Like I didn't want to do this. It was just like that guy quit. No one knows who to talk to. So they come talk to me. And, and now that are you, are you, are you going to take over the cabinet shop? I, I don't know. There's so many aspects to it. I don't know. So like, are you going to overthrow your stuff? father? No, like I've, I've, done everything there so like i from a technical standpoint like i can handle the manufacturing side of it the autocad side of it everything on that front the sales side of it i can't and like that's such a it's exactly what you think it's like a politicized like all these old men that they know my dad and they don't yeah. want to talk to anybody else and they want to know they're being taken care of i don't think that company runs if he if he stepped out i don't think a lot of the builders and stuff would stay on i think they'd be like all right we're going somewhere else even if you're him. running it I don't, I don't know you came from his balls bro Maybe like you were literally I've always told him like I'll I'll help you make it as profitable as possible We'll track everything we'll turn this thing into an automated fucking system And then when you want to sell it or whatever you want to do like throw me a kickback We'll, we'll make it fair at that point Because mm. that's the other problem i'm running into is like again not to toot my own horn here But at this point I am considered a senior developer and everything I've been a professional software developer like being paid to build software since I was 19 was probably my first like job paid as a software dev so I've officially done this for 10 years. So like I can easily go get a job. Like I've had job offers at, I an interview with Apple. Like I've had job offers for software stuff where like entry is like 250 to 300 starting. And that's the problem I have with my dad is like he, the cabinet shop can't afford to pay me that kind of Wait, money. Wait, $250,000? Yeah. Bro, the, starting. I see on TikTok all the time. That's what kids think that they should that's be cheap. getting right out of, yeah, right yeah, out of school yeah, yeah. or like, working two years yeah. in and they're not work, making 200K. The, I'm just saying like the, the issue is like 10 year Node.js SQL backend developer. Like I could easily go pick up 250 to 300 at any of these big companies. But would you go work for any? No, because then it's a true <laughs> corporate. I'm just saying like that's the only issue we've been running into is like when I'm doing freelance stuff, I make a lot more money. I mean, with fourth phase, there's months where we cleared like 60, 70 grand in a month. Are you? we're just dropping. I mean, we're doing seven e-commerce stores at $10,000 and it's just... Are you where are you? But it's way more stress. I'm way less stressed now. Yes, I have to be there all fucking day, but I'm not like you're stressed while you're at work, and then yeah, yeah. But when I leave work, I can like hang out and do stuff. Where like when I'm doing the freelance stuff, I am working nonstop and constantly. Someone's calling me and they need this. I'm, I'm late on this. I want a discount. I want people are pissed off. It's are you aware of what nepotism is? No. Nepo baby. What's that? You could be. Do you think people in your company think you're a nepo baby? Basically, nepotism, if I could be incorrect here, but it's essentially you getting preferential treatment because your dad owns the company and you getting be, to be allowed to oh, do 100%, things. Oh, 100%, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Everyone <laughs> fucking hates me. Dude. Like snot-nosed little bastard child. Like, fuck out of here. Like, uh, I, Joe, uh, we're not supposed to go in the... Actually, I can, I can do it. Initially, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't wear my safety glasses in the shop. I don't do shit. Initially, yeah. Initially, OSHA watching... A hundred percent. Like I, I dealt with that. I mean, I've always, I feel like dealt with that. It's like, it's one of those things where I'm like, all right, look, my life that I'm at would not be where it is without him. Like I know Literally. part of me is like, if he, even as simple as like got me my first laptop and shit, I'm just saying like, if I didn't have the life I had, I don't think I'd be able to make money in the software world. Like that came because he was willing to like buy me computers and let me not go to college and work on some other, like, okay. Um, so I feel like it always has at least some kind of fallback. Even now, like like fourth phase, which was the software company that I'm no longer taking on clients. I think in 2020, the official tax return, I did like $300,000 with fourth phase. That was like the official, I think what my tax return was on that side of it. It's not, not If not I told a little somebody bit. that, I still have comments be like, fucking trust fund baby. And it's like, um. no, that has nothing to do. My dad came and fucking work an iPhone. He has nothing to do with this money. And you still have people that are like, well, you know, trust fund baby. I mean, like, I, I okay. still I still think people, if people looked at your life and your cars and stuff, and then they saw that your dad had a, a not really nice cabinet business, yeah, yeah. they would assume that he's paying for stuff. But would you say that your income, like, do you consider yourself to be paid equivalently of your actual skill set? No, I think I'm underpaid at the cabinet shop. But I think we, we do. So do you consider yourself like all the nerds listening? Yeah. Would you consider yourself a an elite co like a, an elite yes. web developer? That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Do you think you're like one of the I've had job offers? Why are you so good? What makes it. you good at it? I've just done it for so long. I so I started doing and if you're adept, so Node JavaScript, I'm sure you're familiar with it. You can run on the back end now. Been able to do it for a long time. I started that when Node became available. Like I'm 
I have to be in a handful of people at my age. Cause the other thing is I'm so young for this, right? Like there's not a lot of 29 year olds that can say they've been professional software developers for 10 years in node because node came out like seven, eight years ago, whatever it was. I've been doing it since it came out. So I feel like it's a very small pot of people because like, yeah, you can probably find much better devs than me that are 45, 50, but like now you only got a five year, 10 year run. Like I'm young you before can, they die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too old and wither away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say I'm, I'm good. I haven't met anybody that's, I've met people that work harder than me. I met people that are like more willing to take a bunch of Adderall and fucking work for 48 hours straight. But when it comes to literal code, like, no, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm not the best in the world. There's definitely people better there's than like me. There's like at least two people better than me. There's nothing that you would bring to me that I'd be like, I don't know how to do that in the software world. Or like you could figure out how to do it. Or, yeah, like anything that you want built, I can get it done. And if I can't, I'll just ask ChatGPT how to, how to do it and it'll tell me the exact code <laughs> Pretty much. to I write mean, it like, in there. Like, do I use Stack Overflow? Yes, 100%. I don't know what if that you, is. If, if I'm do you think people app, are like, oh, Stack, yeah. I know that joke. Well, no, it's just like, it's like Google. Oh. It's, it's like Google. It's the same as like, could you take your Jeep apart and put it back together without any instructions? Yes. Are you going to Google occasionally like how to unwire the fuel pump? Um, Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I'm going to use some tools on the side. I'm just saying like, I. you're a, you're a man of mystery, dude. And you're, yeah. you're a big old smart guy. Yeah. And that's why I, I have some, I have some, I have some things that I, I want to call this Joe thoughts. Okay. I want to hear your it's opinion like on them. Math, but it's girl, it's girl math, but Joe thoughts. Okay. Um, so I've gotten some feedback on this uh, on this podcast, and I want to hear your thought because I have a lot of reasons why I do or don't do things on okay. this on this podcast. First of all, what's your thoughts about t- what are you looking at? No, I was you trying to read my notes. Doing, yeah, don't read my notes. Okay. Do you do you look? What is what does this say? What is it? What, what what does this say at the top here? Super top secret. Super top secret. Okay. That's a legally binding we'll contract. Turn it upside down. So look at um, it. I'll put the drink right here. Say Big Mac. So no. A lot of people get mad at me that I don't put timestamps mm-hmm. in this podcast. I have a reason why I don't put timestamps. You don't want people skipping around? Because people are... Si- so I understand that, okay, when I come back to a podcast and I want to reference something, it'd be nice mm-hmm. to know it. But when people yell at me for timestamps in the first 30 minutes of uploading it, I'm like, because when I see a podcast that has timestamps, when I'm first watching it, I immediately just go to the topics I want to listen to and click on it, and then I don't listen to anything else. I appreciate that. Yeah, but like I want you to listen I do that. to my the YouTube whole... videos are time stamped. I don't because especially if it's like educational. Like if 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 your YouTube video is like I'm going to teach you how to Okay. This is not educational. No, but if you're YouTube if you make a video like how to get out of taxes. I don't fucking know. Whatever you think you're going to do, right? And then there's 14 minutes of you and dude fucking around in the backyard I wouldn't and do there's that. 8 minutes I'm at not, the that's end. Different. You do that. I'm talking about the podcast. Your vlogs have like one title, but that is actually like 10 seconds. I'm getting better at it. somewhere. Do I know, but my point is if you time stamp it, at least I have the option to like go see what the hell the title's about. Do you think I should timestamp podcasts? I think it would be useful for people, yeah. But then yeah, I'm like I think because if I see the title and it's like we talked about death or whatever, like maybe I just want to see what like what's your opinion on death? Yeah, but I, I want you I want you to get hooked to, to the rest of the podcast. Well, if we're good enough in every single topic, they'll still get hooked. I don't know. I mm. like the timestamps. I'm cool with that. It's just a lot of I guess it's not really that much work. Especially so. if there's an ad. I expect if you put an ad in your video, not only timestamp, it needs to be labeled as ad so I know I can just skip. Okay, it. that's the second thing I want to talk about is yeah. these is sponsorships. Mm-hmm. Okay. First of all, uh, I'm not, we're not going to say the brand, but I recently did a sponsorship on this podcast and there were a handful of comments that did not like the brand. I didn't even know about it. This I did half my podcast, but I didn't get paid. And now I'm not going to work with that brand anymore because people were against it. What, what Wait, people were against the brand. People didn't like the brand because they the said brand the brand, to. they said the brand, uh, potentially like imitates other products that exist and like every other thing in the world. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. like, I, I just, it, what do you, what do you think about sponsor integrations? Because I try my best with this podcast to make it. No, I like, I have probably, I mean, especially after I'm done with this, I probably have put a hundred thousand dollars into this podcast show yeah. in general from the first studio to this. You gotta make money, dude. I know I got to make money because the, the, the views are great, but they don't make that much money. So I, I try to do the sponsorships. And one thing I don't do, you'll notice when people are sponsored by certain energy drinks, I won't say the brand or whatever, but like there's, I mean, or or you look at like Logan Paul, the prime, like you don't see a bunch of sour strips right there, the sour, but I'm I'm drinking this. I don't have 17 bottles. Yeah, no, no, I got it. What's your thoughts about 
ad placements like that and just ad integration. I don't mind ad placements. I would rather what? organically see it. Yeah, yeah. I, if you you're not, yeah, I don't mind. Like if you had a ever forward logo right here, I'm not like, oh my god. But if you're every five seconds, like look at that. Now I'm kind of like, oh, chill out with that. Like Prime, like Logan with his Prime, I'm okay with that. I don't. I don't you don't think it tackies at the set a little bit? A little bit. I, I think you should have timestamps. I think if I don't want to watch the ad, I shouldn't have to. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I also think it depends on if it, it somewhat aligns with the people, which is hard for you to do, right? Like I have an automotive YouTube channel. I know if it aligns with my audience and I can figure it out. But with a podcast, like it might be a 16 year old girl watching this and a 76 year old man. Like you have no clue what the target, I mean, we can guess, but uh, it's a little bit harder for you. I feel like it has to match the, the, the vibe. Do you think, do you think having ads is selling out? For you, yeah. I think there's people out there that like aren't making money on their podcast and the only way to make money is with the ads. You don't need the money from this podcast. You just would like to make some money and make more sense. It makes it easier to spend eight grand on new cameras if you're making money doing it, but you don't need the money on this podcast. Like if you got zero dollars, it doesn't fucking matter to you. I, I feel like you could- Max I mean, is rich as fuck. I, I feel like you could get to any level of income and be like, oh, I don't need that yeah. $200. I, I just shouldn't take I that know. $200. I think look, if you're going to do it, Linus Tech Tips, segues. That's what matters right there. I can't say- He set, kills it, dude. I can't, okay. You don't I, expect it, on, next thing you know you're an ad. On my vlogs, I think I do a really, yeah. cre most of the time, I do a really creative way that is one clip that transitions into the ad you never saw coming, right? Mm -hmm. With the podcast, I can't really do that a lot of times, except for today's video, which is actually sponsored by our friends at Move, wait. Wait, no, 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 this, is, this episode isn't sponsored. Never mind, this is not. That would've been good though. That's, you don't have to say what brand it is. Okay. I think you just say like, oh, like, like, oh, like it's slippery. Just like we're going to slide into our something like that. You just got to, you know, I'm telling yeah. you, watch Linus Tech Tips. You'll figure it out. He's, he's got it on lock. He got a bunch of controversy, didn't he? What did he do? Did he? Yeah, I don't he had to make like a whole apology video Bro, or something. Bro, talk about someone that has taken fucking content creation and made a, like, he's like his own company. He's like, he's like his own network. Like he is his own YouTube on YouTube. He has like 70 employees. They have like 30 editors, seven sets. Like, dude, it's crazy. He probably has 100 employees plus just on a YouTube channel. That's actually pretty mind-blowing. He's top. Wait, was that a segue? Were you going or something? No. No. Oh. Him and MKHD. Like, they have built entire multi-million dollar companies just inside of YouTube. Like well, I, I did a podcast for this uh, CPG company and the office building that they were at, MKB, yeah. Uh, his his studio was like in the same building, and he said he said that they they he spent over a million dollars on his like studio. I in think that he's building. smaller. I think he probably has like twenty employees. Linus Tech Tips. I, I'm not even exaggerating. I think he probably has a hundred plus employees because they have like seven channels. They have like seven channels with different anchors and different hosts, and like it's a whole thing. Influencing is just getting out of control, and now influencers are mm -hmm. business. I mean, it's a whole like business in itself. Some of them, and then some of them are just just what dancing. Shaking that ass. Speaking of shaking that ass, <laughs> they got it. Joe, okay. He, okay. So uh, recently I got hit up on Sour Strips by a representative of a group of individuals. Broccoli hair kids? <laughs> kind of, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. So here, here's how it went. Hey, I'm uh, someone in, in this popular YouTube world is throwing a birthday party. And we would love Sour Strips to be at this birthday party. He and then they and then they attached a. They're like, please check out the deck below. And in this PDF Wait, a birthday bro, party deck, bro, it blew my mind because there's a PDF deck. It says like, what? Who's the party for? Here's here's why there's a party. It had individual images of the influencers that are going to be there and their reach. And then it had different tier packages making money on this party. in the thousands of dollars that were like, if you do the high package, your logo can be on the the backdrop of the like the like entrance whose birthday party was it i can't i don't want to say it out loud Why? no because i'm sending them candy oh you did it i'm not paying oh. i'm sending them candy but I, I i felt when i saw that it made me feel kind of weird about like influence because i'm like a birthday it was a girl's birthday party and they're like selling ads like logo placements right on it is. on the yeah uh yeah. on the like they're like on the projector we can have your logo on yeah. the wall and stuff i'm like is that like, I feel like you're breaking the barrier of like real life. Like, can you imagine if we did a party, be like, okay, let's put a pitch deck together. Let's, let's get some brands. This is going to be the the wall where we, we all stand behind and it has brand logos. Like that's not, what is that world, bro? I mean, it's monetizing everything. I don't know. At one, I feel weird about that. On one hand, I'm like, all right, look, if I'm going to put all the most famous people on the internet in one place, 
they're all going to post it on their shit anyways. Want to make some money because everything's going to be there. On the other hand, like just have a birthday party and enjoy your life. Like that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I just I I feel like the internet is getting out of control recently. I saw the story about this. Did you see this crypto millionaire guy? That okay. So if you didn't lots know, of those. There's a, there was this thing that came out. So there, there's this girl, and her name is Ruby Rose. Not to be, I thought Ruby Rose was the actress Ruby yeah, I Rose that's who that is. with the short hair. Yeah. There's another Ruby Rose. Okay. Okay. Another Ruby Rose. Um, not that Ruby Rose. Yeah. And she posted a photo with this like kind of guy with his beard, and she said like met my like top like ran into my top donating OF like member, and he showed a screenshot that he that he had spent sixty thousand dollars on her OF, okay? And so, so it blew up. It blew up this internet. Everyone's like obviously making all their, their opinions on it. And uh, he's apparently a crypto whale. And uh, then she like scrolled and there was like a, all these texts from like, and she put him as like creepy OF guy. And it was like, please, like, please like talk to me. Like, why can't I, like, I'll, I'll send you like $400,000 of Bitcoin mm -hmm. right now, please. Like all this stuff, okay? Internet's going crazy about all this. It turns out, like a week goes by, that guy goes on like some podcast. The whole thing was a marketing pl yeah, ploy. genius. What is real anymore, Joe? Yeah, you don't know. That is genius though. But I think honestly, the most genius thing I've heard of all year was the Brazilian marketing firm or whatever that they created a girl, uh, Stable Diffusion, which is like really, really high end version of like Photoshop auto AI generator thing. Mm -hmm. They create this girl. Then they feed the picture of the created girl back into the model so they can get different pictures of the same made up person doing stuff. Created her to Instagram, got her a big following, then launched her OnlyFans. I think they made like, I think they said they made like $600,000 on her OnlyFans this year. She's not real. It's AI. She does not exist. Yeah. This girl's never existed before. And now this like media firm that did it made like 600 grand on OnlyFans for the, the fake girl I, that doesn't exist. That's I, genius. I'm I like, saw an, there's another girl that she put her likeness on AI and now an AI version of her She's a real person, but there's an AI version of her that will talk to people and charge a dollar a minute to talk to them. That's, I don't know how they're going to handle. So AI is getting very good, like the images and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you handle like, so all the, all the actresses and stuff were worried that like their jobs are going to go away. Right. Cause the acting, the, the actual screenwriting can be done by AI now. And eventually the CGI will be so fast out of the AI. It doesn't make any sense for studios to do it anymore. It'll just make more sense to like, like, Transformer blowing building up. Pretty much, yeah. At some point, AI is going to take that whole fucking thing over. Well, then it, things become like, oh, you take your likeness and feed it into a movie. Like, how do, how do you pay somebody for if we don't actually need Jennifer Anderson? We don't need her voice anymore. Like, we already have that in AI too. So we can have her in our movie without her. You know, she's got to sign off or something. Like, what's that payment look like? But we don't need her anymore. Well, that's what... um. Well, hold on. But then people are feeding that into the, the porn industry where there's already been like social media influencers that are outraged because there's a picture of them topless on a beach, but it's not them, but it's AI and you can't tell it's not them. I don't know where that line falls of like, is that illegal? Do they get paid? Can you stop that? Like, I have no clue. There's a picture of, I don't let's make up a hypothetical, like Megan Fox topless on a beach. It's not her. It didn't happen. But now it's circulating on the internet. Everyone thinks it's her. It looks just like her. You can't tell. We've always had Photoshop, but like the AI thing makes it a little bit easier and a little bit more realistic. That's going to become an issue where like every girl is going to have nudes online. They're not real, but you don't know they're not. Like, do, do you think there's any sort of like unethical thing about like, l let's say, a, let's say a girl was like, I, I want to do this, but I don't feel comfortable doing like, let's say OF, but I'm going to create an AI version of me that looks like me who she's naked, even though it's not technically me. I mean, I don't know. That's a, that's a loaded question because you didn't do it, but. See, my, my problem with that is if I say no, that's not okay. Like, what if someone else did it? Then, when there like a streamer that got in trouble because he like put his friend's wife's face on like an AI model and like was like watching porn of mm -hmm. his friend's wife, but mm -hmm. it wasn't really her. It's like she didn't say that was okay, but it still happened. It's still there. I don't know how they're going to mitigate all that shit. Like, I, I have no clue how you deal with that. N nothing is like real anymore. And even with uh, just like on, on that topic of, of the OnlyFans, like, girl that did this and it turned out to be like this, this crazy marketing scheme. The guy was saying that it was like, it, it wasn't her that had the idea of this marketing scheme. It was her, manager, her managers yeah. who are a bunch of guys yeah. had this whole marketing scheme. And like, I don't think a lot of people realize that. I mean, this is not a every, this is not like on every situation, but like on a lot of these only fans, 
girls, it's like guys running their OnlyFans. Yeah. Well, I think that was the the AI girl. They took, I think they take 40% from all their models to manage their shit and do their photos and everything. But the AI girl, they get 100% cut. If I'm in the business of being an OnlyFans manager, like I'm going to AI because I get 100% of all the money. I don't need the girl anymore. The only thing that some of these bimbos were good for <laughs> is going away. Like realistically, like a lot of these OnlyFans girls that making a million dollars a year can't fucking spell car. We don't need them anymore. You had a good run there, but like I can get AI to do your job and I'll take all the money now. That's wild. Like to think like girls are only successful because of OnlyFans. Give it two more years, you don't need the girl anymore. Joe, do you believe AI voices are getting good too? It's getting to the point where you can talk to an AI and have AI talk back to you and like it's kind of hard to tell it's not a real person. Do you believe do you do you know what hypergamy is? No. Man, you don't know shit, bro. Yeah. Okay, hypergamy is the idea. I think it might just relate to women, but it's the idea that we'll just say I I don't know if it applies just to women, but it's like the idea of like almost like dating up. Like you always like want to mm-hmm. date above you. You you're like always trying to like jump to the higher yeah. tree, tree branch, right? So like you, over your life, you want to date a better guy or a girl, okay. guy would want to date a better girl or a guy or what, well, whatever. What? Hypergamy. Never heard that. It's in the red pill space. It's it's, it's okay. pretty cool. Yeah, alpha shit. But do you think when a and then would you say that most most people want to go down like a traditional like path in life? Like I nowadays, I don't know. Maybe. Well, what I'm like, stri- I, not I get stri- it doesn't, you know, it doesn't worry about me. But I wonder a lot of times who these girls who are making like so much money on OnlyFans when they go to like try to stop doing this and try to meet a guy, let's say they're making half a million dollars a year. They're an ex- I feel like a lot of them are going to want a guy that's making same or more than them. Right. You would assume, but I don't, I think it takes a special kind of guy. I mean, not to talk shit. Well, actually yeah, to talk shit about these girls. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a very special kind of guy. If, if I'm making 30 grand a year, like I don't want to date you if you're, fucking vagina is all over the internet like i have no desire to settle down with a girl that's on OnlyFans. i don't care how much money you're making so then it's not even a question of like she needs to find a guy no guy that makes the same amount of money as the girl is going to be cool with that no successful fucking dude is like i would love my girlfriend's titties to be all over the internet i think that's the whole the the whole uh the idea behind this hypergamy thing where let's say let's say it's talking about girls let's say they try to like date someone who's making on the same level or more than them yeah. in terms of money, but the guys that are making, you know, the guys aren't obviously on OF, yeah. most of them. Um, so Good they're, them. so they probably who are making 500 or a million dollars a year are probably would rather have a girl who is yeah. not nude on the internet. I don't know, man. I, I feel like this shit's getting out of control. Like, I feel like the, I feel like the world is just sexualizing even more. I, I when I go to the gym, Joe, I, there's, the amount of just like ass. Yeah. You can't. Well, a lot of that's fake too now. You can't escape it. Yeah, they got pants to make it all. I, I can't. I don't look that whole, that whole thing goes back to the AI. So every technology, it's like a little sound bite from uh, Tropic Thunder, huh. like Blu-ray versus DVD and the reason it was decided it was porn. And it's a real thing. Like the porn industry drives every other yeah, industry. Yeah. Like when VR came out, cool, we're going to use it for video games, but the most money for VR was done on porn 100%. AI is going to be the same way. Like AI will probably end up changing the porn industry first and then it'll go backwards everywhere else. I don't know how you prevent that and also like what that does. Like realistically speaking, like girls on OnlyFans don't, don't need to be. And I'm not thinking about it like, oh, the girl's not comfortable doing it, but she can put AI in her place. I'm thinking like guys are just going to make AI girls. Like the girl has no place in this at all. We don't need you. We're just going to create AI. They've already proved it can be done. Yeah. But then also on the other end, like hypothetically speaking, your fiance's pictures are on the internet. It would not be hard for someone to feed her images into an AI model and start making videos that they look not. very. But so, what do you do about that? Is that a legal issue? Can you call the cops? You just report it on Instagram and hope it gets taken down. Like that's where that. I don't know how you're going to handle this. How do you prove that the photo of uh, how do you how do you prove that a naked photo of someone isn't a real naked photo I of them? Have no fucking clue. Go through the metadata and stuff. Or post a real picture of you naked to show that it looks a little bit different. I mean, that's the best someone who look at my areolas, out. okay? Yeah, look like, at these. Check it out. I mean, without the metadata and stuff, like some Joe's of them like are that really penis is good. way too big to be mine. Yeah, some of them are really, really good. I don't know. And the problem is, it used to just be photos. Now we're getting to the point where like AI hey, can do videos. Like now you can have a video of the girl of your dreams, some girl you had a crush on in high school. Like now you can just put it on an AI model and have a video of this girl do whatever you want. It ain't real. What do you go to like? 
turn like I don't know turn people done. into nakedpeople.com? No like happens. what is how do you what well, who's no, it's all through so you have like these large language models that that run all this shit. So like stable diffusions, I think by far the best AI image generator. Well, I think you can run it. So they put training wheels on this shit to like show you how to do it, but then also they put locks on it. Mm -hmm. So like chat GPT, if you go to chat GPT and say like generate me an image of this girl naked, it's gonna say no, it's not morally correct, blah, blah. But a lot of these can run on their own like language model. So you can run it locally. So you can run stable diffusion locally and then it can kind of do whatever the hell you want it to do. There are no morals behind it. So it can generate a picture of anything you want. That's where this is going or where, where it's coming from. I don't like it. But again, I'm like, is that not legal? It's illegal to share a explicit photo of someone. Yeah, like revenge porn. Yeah, yeah that's can't. illegal. But is it illegal to have AI generate a picture of a girl that was... Well, I, I think the, the laws will have to be adapted. It's the same thing of like before social media was just this random new thing. And now like what you do on social media can have legal implications, even though it's... That one's wild. I didn't, it's just a tweet, bro. I didn't think that we would see the downfall of OnlyFans from AI. That is not what I predicted. When everyone's like, oh, you're going to lose your job as a coder when AI takes over. Like, no, I think, I think like the pornographic industry for women is the first one to go. I think OnlyFans girls are the first ones to lose their jobs because like why would, as a manager, why do I want to pay a cut to anybody? If AI can do the same job as you and I have to pay a cut, like I'm going to replace well, all my girls with AI girls. Well, I, here's what the real future is going to be is the guys who are on there who are probably just like, I don't care. It's not real. I just want to see a, it looks real enough to me. Yeah. Like I bet there's going to be a website that you can just like, I feel like these are, it's like, it's like building a Sims character, but it's actually going to build a hot person well, to the exact AI thing chat. you want. If you chatted with ChatGPT, like if you like gone in and just like don't ask it a question, just like chat with it. It is pretty humanized and that's just going to get better. At some point, like you won't be talking to the OnlyFans model's husband. You're just going to be talking to an AI OnlyFans model. I think that's wild. You don't even that, know you're talking. I think that's wild that like dudes are chatting as yeah, it's crazy. the girls. We talked about that, but that's wild. But I'm saying that will go away and you'll just chat with the AI version. Remember, you're old enough to be, remember AIM? When yeah. They came out with like, there was a certain AIM username you would like message and it was a bot. It would like, like you could have a conversation with it. I forgot yeah, what it was. Its name was a... Uh, uh, Oh I man! Oh no! Off. It's a smarter child. Yes, smarter okay. child. Now imagine new technology. I'm smarter saying, child like, would tell me what the movie times were. He would tell me what the weather they're was. They're already using AI for like, um, like, customer service. Like someone emails sour strips about something. You can already have AI kind of respond and get the gist of what's going on before a human gets involved. I'm saying it's only a matter of time before like all the voice messages and text messages on something like OnlyFans, all AI. It's getting crazy out like, here, how Joe. How do you even define a real? Because if these guys are already cool paying girls that are real, but they're never, they don't have a chance to actually meet them or hook up with them or anything, you assume they're fine doing that with AI. Like, does it matter their AI if they respond the same way and talk the same way and sound the same way and look the same way? If like, it do walks these guys like care? a duck and it looks like a duck, it's a I'm duck. Dude. For your average dude spending money on OnlyFans, like, you probably don't care if it's AI or not. As long as the experience is the same, I don't care if it's People need to wild. get out and bang, dude. They don't, they don't need to be watching all the. I feel like it's a net negative for society to like have all, like, the, the the I feel like the porn. I mean, I understand. I feel like the, that is the it's crazy a slippery part. Slippery slope. Like no one thinks about when you hear about these girls who are like, "I made two hundred thousand dollars last month on OnlyFans." It's like that means there's two hundred thousand dollars worth of guys that paid that. Like, fuck the girls making all the money. That means there's guys just fucking forking out cash. Well, I wonder. I mean, I guess there's like hypocrisy in all of it, but it's more like, would you, would you be fine with your guy like? looking at other OF and if you're not, then why are you fine with potentially letting guys who are in relationships like, like you, you want to create, like you want alpha strong men, but you're fine with keep feeding into the, the opposite of that, that have these like, that are willing to pay. I, I don't, it's, I'll never understand. I don't ever understand, but you know what? Everyone's making money. That's all right. People in a relationship, are you, all right, let's just assume, which obviously, I'm in a relationship. I don't know if girls watch porn. I don't know if that's a thing. I assume it is. I assume there's a, a place for that. I don't know. I mean, there's... Yeah. All right, let's just flip it. As a girl, it, I feel like girls have to be okay with, like, they know that, like, their boyfriend or husband or whatever is, like, going to watch porn at some point. Like, at some point in your relationship, you're probably going to go on a porn site. Okay. Is that acceptable? Is that... No? Or we, I mean, I, I, I think... I, are no. you more upset? Are you more upset... I don't watch if you, porn. Like, let's just hypothetically say, like, you found out, like, Taylor was watching porn... Are you more upset about that or more upset about like she's on OnlyFans like with some it's the same thing, isn't it? That's a hard like I don't know if there's like a is it one okay and one's not, or is that just like totally frowned upon? Like if you're in a relationship, you do not watch porn. 
I think it's a conversation to have. It becomes like a problem. problem. You watch it together and you do the double Dutch rudder. What's that? Where like, yeah, like you would grab my elbow or something like that. Uh, Dude. I don't know. I feel I feel like no matter what analogy you make of any kind of defense of whatever, there's like a hip hip hypocrite hip hippopotamus? Hip there's like a hip hop a hip a hippie to the hip hip. Like you're a hypocriticizer <laughs> on some level because it's yeah. like, oh, you think that's bad, but you're fine with this or that. And it's just you know All what, right. dude, everyone makes their money. Everyone out here banging. And 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 speaking of banging, Joe, mm-hmm. you ready for this? Yeah, what you got? I want to talk about the Big Bang, Oof. and I'm not talking about. I don't know much about. I'm it. not talking about the show. Yeah. Do you believe in the in the Big Bang theory? I which think is it's that the most. I would say I'm you great. explain what the Big Bang is in your words. I don't know. I don't know the actual. I mean, the idea is that uh, fucking nuclear fission, right? Do the you, idea is the atom split causing a the Big Bang. I don't. I don't know if anyone knows the reason behind the Big Bang, but it was that so much energy was released that created the universe. Do nutshell. you believe that the Big Bang happened? I'm a very logical human, and I think that that is the most logical answer. So yes, I think that makes the most sense out of the like three possibilities given. I think that makes the most sense. But even that one, I don't think there's ever been like a where did that initial energy come from. Like that still, I think, is unanswered. Even the Big Bang. Like even if you go to the Big Bang theory and say this is how it happened, okay, like what caused the Big Bang then? Like what was the initial so catalyst? You're, so you're saying like what happened before the Big Bang? Yeah, like okay. the Big Bang ignited, releasing all the energy into the universe and turning into what we have now. Like what? What? Where was the energy before that? Okay. What uh, collided? To okay. Create? Okay. I have some thoughts. Yeah. I was watched. So the Big Bang happened apparently. Mm-hmm. Apparently, I wasn't there. Thirteen point eight billion years ago. Sounds about right. And I've I've been I was watching some spaces like. Sometimes I get on these rabbit holes. Of, I, I, feel, I feel like everyone does. I, yeah. At some point, because you watch one thing and you're like, oh my God, and then it sucks in and your brain starts exploding. So there was this, uh, I was watching, so Joe Rogan had on some guy and he kind of explained something that sometimes people explain like analogies and it make, like kind of makes sense. Yeah. So he was saying as kind of like what happened before the Big Bang, right? So the story he gave is, Let's say you're walking down the street and you go up to a random person. You're like, hey, can you, I'm trying to walk north. Can you direct me to, to north? Someone just goes like, yeah, it's, it's like that way, right? So you just keep walking north, north, keep walking. You go to the next person. Hey, like, where's, like, where, I don't want to keep walking north. Where'd I go? They keep pointing you, right? So eventually, let's say you kept walking north all the way and you got to the North Pole. You got yeah. to the, the most north you can go. If you asked someone in North Pole, like, I'm trying to go north, they would say like, that, that, it does, that does, that's not a question because this is this is where north starts yeah. like there's no more north than north okay um so it's kind of like you bef- the, like there there wasn't anything before the big bang because that Maybe was something. that was the creation of of time but what what created it that's my problem with it it just it is what it is <laughs> it's not it is what it is if it's it is what it is then all the other theories make sense as well cuz they are what they are. No, like you can't you 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 can't go any more north than like the most north. So if you go back a, a, a bajillion years, yeah. right? Like th- there's I feel like there's data to okay, show. So you're gonna say that that started three billion years ago, right? So so let's if you go back if you were like go back to thirteen point eight billion, you go like hey you know what happened yesterday? It's like nothing because there was I nothing. Know, I get that. I'm just saying something had to release like energy. The laws of physics state, like, it doesn't just get created out of nowhere. Something had to release the energy, so something had to have the energy. It's a bunch of little atoms, kind of had a big old gang where bang, the atoms and then... From. See, that's the problem, is, like, I don't know where the start, like... The Big Bang is the most... I get it. I, I, I will put my eggs in that basket, but I just feel like there's some unanswered questions before that. And I think that's where, uh, like, for me personally, like, I wouldn't say I'm super religious, but I think there could be, like, a maybe a mixture of the two. Mm-hmm. Like maybe everything after the Big Bang, that makes sense scientifically, but maybe the pre of that is some kind of religious thing. Maybe there is some kind of miracle that happened before that that created the... That's why I don't like the whole like, oh, you believe in the Big Bang, so you're not religious. Well, like, I, I, I guess before I'm the cool Big Bang, that. like th- there's no time before the Big Bang because the Big Bang was the creation of time. Yeah, so maybe the thing that created the Big Bang was a religious entity. I don't know. Okay, now let's go Let's go. keep going down this rabbit hole. Okay. So... Monkey fish frogs? After, <laughs> no, after thing. the Big Bang... Yeah. 200 to 250 million years ago, mm-hmm. big difference from billion. I don't want to happen between the billions and the yeah. 200 million. Dinosaurs, okay. apparently, were here. Do you mm-hmm. believe in dinosaurs? Yes. I don't think it's a believe. We, yeah. What do you mean believe? Right now, 
Like Santa Claus. Okay, Joe. But you're saying that the moon landing yeah. was a government conspiracy. It possibly Do you was. think that... Because I keep... Uh, the world can't understand about the pyramids, how the pyramids mm -hmm. got here. Um... Do you think dinosaurs actually existed? And we, yeah, we got the bones and everything, but what if those bones are, are faked? Okay, so when we talked about the moon landing, right? We mm -hmm. talked about the pros and cons of it being fake or not fake. And there's a very good reason that it could have been fake to bankrupt. Space race. Exactly. The dinosaur thing doesn't really have, like, why would you fake that? Who, who was like, all right, we're going to put these big bones <laughs> under the ground, make people think they found them. There's no, there's no upside here. They're not selling, you know, like what? So you're telling me there'd be no benefit for the like government to fake that or who faked. It. Also, I think we found the first dinosaur bones like hundreds of years ago, right? Like, like someone had to fake it a long time ago, like in the, the age of fucking knights in armor, they would have been like, let's go fucking plant some fake bones. Like this doesn't make any well, sense. They would just, they would just make the bones out of like for, for what bone material, like get people not to leave. Don't, don't wander off. There's big bones out there. Like, I don't know what the benefit <laughs> but would do you be. Think so it's to create real. this whole bigger story. So, so cause it, Sometimes it's just wild to think. So at some point, mm -hmm. instead of this building being here, mm -hmm. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here's the other thing, Joe. How do we know? Here, yeah. How do we know what dinosaurs sounded like? We don't. We we just recently found out. I think recently they found out what a T Rex probably actually sounds like, and it's nowhere near. D Jurassic Park is an eighteen wheeler hitting a guardrail. I don't know if you knew that or not, but like the what? sound the dinosaur the T Rex makes when it is an eighteen wheeler grinding against a guardrail. <laughs> yeah. That that's yeah. nowhere near, but everyone thinks that's the sound of T Rex makes because that's what we all grew up with. That's what they. Well, were it told. makes sense. Look at the thing. No, if, if you look it up online, like if people should look. So I think a university recently, like looking at the bone structure and everything else, like what they think it probably sounded like, it's way scarier. It like like low humming, clicking noises and shit. Try to go. No, I, I don't even know. Try. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't. I. I if, I'll show you after this. We'll play it after Wait, this. Wait, low sounding tick, like like an alien versus predator kind of like? Yeah, much more similar to that shit. And like, that's way scarier to me. Like, if I'm in a force and I hear that, like, oh shit. It's worse than like, I think that the 18 wheeler hitting a guardrail actually sounded cooler. But so the dinosaurs are just what we see in Jurassic Park. We also Park. think they had dinosaurs are a hard one because like every other fucking three years they flip. So like three years ago, they didn't have feathers on them. Now it's like unanimously, we all decided they do have feathers. But then a couple of years back, they may have feathers, but then they didn't again. Like everyone goes back and forth on dinosaurs. Every like five years, there's some breakthrough, and now we know for sure this is what they were. And then like five years later, they totally change it again. I don't know. So apparently, they were like covered in feathers. A lot of them were covered in feathers. T Rex was covered in feathers? I think, or had some feathers on it. I know like raptors unanimously, everyone has decided that raptors were covered in feathers. Like they were like birds. I mean, all dinosaurs are te technically birds are the closest relative, right? I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's right. You're telling me a velociraptor? The closest relative, like I think the closest living relative to a velociraptor is like a like raptor bird, like the like a falcon. Have you not seen alligators, Joe? I know. They're not actually related though. Have you seen a Komodo alligators dragon? And alligators and crocodiles are still a lot like they didn't go extinct. They stayed. They are the Alligators closest. are dinosaurs? Yeah, there were crocodiles around no way. during the dinosaurs. Yeah, they were bigger, but the same thing. I think crocodiles and alligators are like the one thing that didn't go extinct. Cockroaches. Like they stayed eh, as well. But dinosaurs, I don't think dinosaurs were like, I don't think a velociraptor has any correlation to an alligator. Okay. It is going to a bird. So the dinosaurs, you, you they were here for sure. Yeah, All of them. Well, evolution wise, yeah. I think it started out with little amoebas and then kept going up, monkey fish frogs. And, and, then, and then do you think that a giant meteor killed all the dinosaurs? Came in. Ice Age, we all we talked about yeah. this. Ice Age happened. Yeah. Okay. So dinosaurs. So we've gone from Big Bang. Yeah. We think that happened. We're not sure what happens before then. Yeah. Even though it's it's nothing. We're glossing right over Pangaea and all that, but yeah. What's the order of stuff? Uh, I think the Pangaea would have been before the dinosaurs, or maybe like right when it started. Pangaea. I think is by all the time the, the dinosaurs went extinct, I think Pangaea was kind of already separated. Pangaea oh. makes sense. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I think by the time the dinosaurs got taken out by the meteors, we were already kind of separated. I don't think it was still one big landmass. I think we were already kind of pushed out. Dinosaurs were around a long time. It wasn't like they were around for like a million years. They were around for like, I don't know what the, the it's they, a long time. They were around for the long time? A very long time, yeah. Oh, I like thought it was Like from the just... start, like when they were little baby lizard fish thingies, all the way to like T-Rexes and stuff. I think it was like, I don't know. I'm pulling numbers out of my ass. I'm going to venture to say like 100 million years. Maybe, what? maybe not. Maybe I'm off. I don't know. I think dinosaurs are around a lot longer than you what think they were. What were they, they doing for so long? I don't know. 
evolving. It started out as little little things. Just like big old dinosaurs. Okay, yeah. so Pangea, dinosaurs. We may be completely wrong. Someone in the comments right now is probably like, y'all are fucking stupid. And then, okay, and then, now, the, okay, 250 million years ago, dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Flash forward, two and a half million years ago, what do we have? Ice Age? Cavemen. Okay. The Paleolithic, the Paleolithic era? Pa- D- cavemen. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Like mammoths? Like saber tooths? Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. I forgot about those. Yeah, they're not here either anymore. We're trying to bring mammoths back. Apparently, wait, we're pretty close. Wait, mammoths were real? Yeah. Big ass elephant with fur. Oh, my God. And saber tooth tigers. Mm hmm. Where did they Sid come was. from? I don't know what Sid was supposed to be in the A sloth. Movie. Yeah. Sid the Fourth. Yeah. I don't know. I guess sloths were around then, too. I don't know why they would have picked saber tooth tiger with the tusks. Yeah. Or no, they go down. Down. Yeah. Just big ass lions, basically. How did. How. How. Where did they come from? Mammals. Mammals were starting during the dinosaurs. Like little mice and stuff were starting during the dinosaurs. And then during the extinction, I think the mammals lived. So all the big dinosaurs died, but I think the little mammals were able to live. And how, they how, did, how, did the, some of the, how did some of the stuff escape the, the, ma- the destruction from the, the comet or the ice age and all that under the earth? They went under the earth. Yeah. I don't think so. The issue, again, we don't, I don't know why we're talking about that. We don't fucking know what we're talking about. We're but qualified. I'm guessing. I think... Majority of the dinosaurs didn't die from the impact of the actual meteor. It was the ice age right, that was right, right, after right. from all the ash and yep. stuff. The bigger the animal is, the more it's got to eat. And mm. when there's not a lot of food, scorched earth, stuff like that. It's a lot easier for a mouse to live. I mean, even nowadays, it's like wildfires. The first thing to not die and the first thing to come back after wildfire is usually like the bugs and like the little mice and stuff because they don't need that much to, to survive. Mm. Where like an elephant eats a shitload of shrubs every day. Like if there's a wildfire, it ain't living in that area. So if there's a giant into the world collision right now, I would survive but, longer than you because I'm smaller. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So I think like the little mammals and stuff were able to live and like the alligators in the water and stuff, I think they had an easier time than like a big thing on the surface. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, flash forward, cavemen. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's paleolithic. I, I could be wrong with I my no clue. my ethics. Um, where do you think they... So that, that uh, that's evolution. Mm-hmm. Okay. So humans. Mm-hmm. Now, what I've always tried to wrap my head around... Because we've established cavemen existed. Yeah. Or do they do they like to be called cavemen? Neanderthals. Neanderthals. I thought yeah. that was like a diss. It is now. Like if, if you, you call, call someone like a Neanderthal, it's because you're saying they haven't evolved. They're still fucking. There are a lot of Neanderthals. That's people. what I think about you, bro. Yeah, I think that all the time when I meet people. Some people you can tell. Like some people have like a fucking like straw brow line and like big jaw and like it's like if you, it's like if you like, call someone a mouth breather. Yeah. It literally just means they breathe out of their mouth. Yeah. No, Neanderthal just means you're stupid. Okay. okay. So Kate, I knew Ander- I have it in me. In my little 23 and me, I had like like 2% Neanderthal or whatever. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. So cavemen, how did they how did they survive? Like w- what happened? Are we we're from so cavemen yeah. started it and then here well, we are. Monkeys. Monkeys to cavemen, cavemen does. When did Adam and Eve come in? It doesn't in this that's, situation. That's, that's 8,000 years ago, Adam and Eve. Well, that's the problem. That That is a whole different line. That is not including... That's the thing with like... I don't think like if you're a diehard Christian, mm-hmm. I don't think you believe in dinosaurs. At least I don't think so. So you don't believe in evolution if you're a diehard Christian? Mm-mm. That's the whole thing. Is like God can you believe Adam and Eve here to start the whole... Can so you like believe, there is no Can evolution. you believe in both? That's what I was saying at the beginning. I, I think I can kind of like... I believe in the Big Bang, but before the Big Bang, maybe there was some kind of... I think if you're, maybe I'm wrong, but I think if you're like die hard religious, like you don't believe in dinosaurs and stuff, or at least it doesn't, it doesn't fit into the narrative. Cause if the whole narrative is that God plays Adam and Eve here, like who plays the dinosaur, like where did all that, the stuff that happened before, like Kate, why do cavemen exist if Adam and Eve were like fully developed normal it, people? Is it a possibility that cre- like, is it a possibility that God came after the dinosaurs? I mean, there's a possibility anything can happen. I don't fucking know. I don't think if you are really believing in the Bible and stuff, I don't think the cavemen ever existed. It doesn't make any sense for them to exist because Adam and Eve weren't cavemen. It makes no sense if there were two like fully developed people having full conversations and shit dropped in here. Why are there stupid versions that fucking howl and stuff? <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, the two don't line up. I think you have to believe one or the other. What do you believe? I go, evolution makes more sense to me. Evolution's more logical to me it makes more sense to me it's more believable for me are you a religious person i 
I was like growing up. I went to the, like catechism and stuff, and then mm-hmm. why? So so I wouldn't say I'm not. I, I've, I've always I've always been hesitant. I, I never like to talk about politics and everything, and I, and I never like to talk about religion because obviously I'm absolutely never trying to say anything to to, to offend someone. Yeah. But I guess I'm always so like because I'm so afraid to because I don't understand things right, and because I question things, I I sometimes worry that like I end up just never even talking about it out loud because I'm so like fearful that I'm going to come off offensive when I'm mm. more just thinking out loud. I think we're allowed to think out loud. I think we're good. You, okay. Okay. Cause I, cause I, I, I've, I've, I've been listening to some stuff for, I heard something recently that, that kind of makes a little bit of sense and I want to, I want to hear your thoughts on it. So, so you don't, you see, are you pro Adam and Eve or not on Adam and Eve? I don't think Adam and Eve ever happened. Don't, don't think I, that happened. Not, I can't, it doesn't make any sense if I believe in the whole like caveman thing. Okay. I don't think you can believe in both. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so the 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 quick story: Adam and Eve. God made Adam and Eve, man and woman. She, yep. uh, he made uh, Eve from the rib of Adam, so that woman is part of man. Mm. That's like the, the the whole thing. I didn't know all that. Yeah, yeah. I Taylor actually told me that. Uh, naked in the in the in the thi- in the in the wo- nice in the Garden of Eden, and uh, then there was the tree. I know about that. And like a snake. The tree. Yep. There was snake, which I believe is sin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the snake, he he can talk. Um, He's not cool though. And then he gives an apple. I think God says. The golden apple, right? Golden? It's golden? Right. I think so. Maybe. maybe, maybe. I guess that'd be more enticing to eat. Yeah. Um, Because plot twist, they ate it. They, um, or sorry, spoiler. Uh, I think God said, don't eat that apple. Mm. Don't put that apple in your mouth. And I think it was Eve that ate the apple. Okay. And then it opened up sin, right? Yeah. So I think that's like the very rudimentary, okay. rudimentary thing, obviously. Yeah. Um, and so I grew up religious. I, gr- I grew up in a religious household. And by that, yeah. I mean, I, w- I went to church every single Sunday. I, w- I was physically at church. I was just a kid. I don't think I was, yeah, no I don't same. remember if I was like really paying attention. My parents tried. I think my parents weren't religious at all. And then when I was born, they were like, we're going to try. Yeah. So we do it like every Sunday for like a year or two. No, I was, I was every, what I can remember until I moved with my mom uh, at 10 and Mm -hmm. we even, even then we still went to uh, uh, the occasional church. Um, But up until then, like my dad and my stepmom, very religious. Yeah. Every Sunday giving tithing. uh, I mean, every, every Sunday. Um, So I, I grew up that. And then when my dad passed, um, I had a very uh, anti, like a negative look towards religion because yeah. I feel like the mindset of like, you know, how can you let this happen to, mm-hmm. especially a man who was the most God loving man in the world. Right. Um, so I'd always be like, how could you let him die? And my brothers try to explain it to me, um, in a way that kind of, it's kind of, I feel like a dark, w- he words it a lot better than I do, but he kind of says that like, like if our dad never passed, we would never be where we are in our lives. So it all like, yeah. it wasn't like he had to die for us to yeah, survive, yeah. but that was like, he's like, there's a purpose for all of it, which mm-hmm. I still was like, I don't care about that. I'd rather him not, yeah, I'd yeah. rather, you know, not be doing things that I'm doing now. Um, so I've always been, and, and Taylor's religious. She's, yeah. she's very religious. Um, and she knows that I am uh uh, I just, I guess, question. I, I've always thought maybe, okay, there's someone there, but I don't know about, um, you know, it's a you know big man with a beard, right? Mm-hmm. Because of this experience that I had with my dad, and I was listening to actually the the Anabar guys, Ryan and Rem. They had uh, they had a podcast, and there was this guy Grant, who's actually one of the graphic designers who does some stuff, sour strips. But he had this like story that he heard that was the first time that something kind of made sense to me, that it still doesn't fully make sense, but I want to, yeah. I want to that's the backstory. And here's kind of what the, uh, the, the story is. So the idea of like, how could, how could, uh, how could God let, you know, innocent children have deformities or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. illnesses or, or innocent people die. And then you let, you know, people who are crazy, how could they let them hurt other people? And like, there's all these things, right? And the story that he gave was that he said the, the world that we're living in is the world of sin because when Adam and Eve ate the apple, the 
th- because of their decision to do that, the world that we are living in is a result of, of sin now. And that basically we're trying to escape sin. And when we pass, that is when we are granted eternity in the, in the life that God had originally planned for everyone and that the world we're in is we're almost like battling evil. Sounds nice. I mean, it's kind of like like in the movies, like the underworld kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But instead, you know, we have it going on. Here. And I guess, I guess that was the first time someone said something that was like, it, that does sound like a, like a, a, a reasoning as to why he would let the people that I love die or yeah. things like that. I guess that's like the first. Well, like, what's your thoughts on that? I mean, I'm a much darker. And this, and I want to preface all of this is that like I, I'm I don't even I don't know. This is why I'm always so stressed about. You're always talking gonna piss somebody it. off. Somebody's gonna, but it, I think you're fine. I think like I'm allowed to talk about right. like the way I feel. I said I'm a pretty logical dude, so like we talked about the moon landing mm-hmm. and the, the upside to that and why. why even though I watched a fake. Netflix movie where they did a shot, really you would love this movie, mm-hmm. bro. It's like into the world movie, and the, the the shots in there are sick. Is it the I don't know. Yes, it's that one. Yeah, I need to watch um, it. Yeah. And uh, there's a shot of the the frozen flag on the moon. So, mm-hmm. I mean, they, how do they get that shot if the moon... Yeah, they had to do that. Um, so, just like that is like there's a logical explanation for why it might be fake. If I look at religion, I'm not even going to just say like Christianity. I'm going to say all religions across the board. So, if you look at the inception of man, mm-hmm. like where we started from... W- it, w- which is what? Like what? No, I'm, I'm saying more like like the inception of civilization. Like the first time that we decide like cities and stuff. Okay. Or even like little tribes out in the woods. Okay. If you don't have law enforcement, we don't have police, we don't have laws, we don't have regulations and stuff. How do you keep a population of humans in check? How do I stop everyone in my fucking city from just hacking each other up as soon as they get in an argument or as soon as they get in a fight? How do I keep you wanting to pay your taxes and stuff? How do I keep you a, a law abiding citizen without law enforcement and laws and everything else? Mm-hmm. Religion's a great vessel for that. I mean, the idea that, because the other thing is like, what does everyone fear? Even if you say you don't, death. Yeah. Right? Everyone wants to know what happens after they die. I think the biggest fear for everyone is what happens after I die. So if I tell you, don't even worry, and that's the other thing of like convenience here, don't even worry about religion. Swap it out because they all have the same underlying principle. All of them fit the same narrative. Like a, a better life when you die. What happens after you die? If you do right in this life, then in your next life after you die, I promise this. You give me X, I give you Y. It makes a lot of sense when I look at it that way. Like religions exist to keep people in check. We don't need them as much anymore because we have law enforcement and cops and fucking morality and everything else. But a long time ago during the fucking nights and stuff and in little fucking villages, I have to have a way to keep all my people in check. What better way to promise them something? I know you're scared of dying. So if you listen to me and you follow these rules, when you die, this is going to happen. Now I've removed your fear of dying and I'm keeping you in check. You're not going to do anything stupid anymore because now you you want that final. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but it, not to mention all religions. Like, is it coincidence that all religions are basically the same fucking thing? It doesn't matter which one you pick. Pick any of them. All of them underlying at the bottom is follow the rules and something good will happen to you when you die. That to me sounds like the ultimate way to control populations of people and keep them in check. Do you think there's just like always a narrative for everything in the the world? But yeah. I al- I also feel like you know the if you're like anti the um religion thing, but I also feel that religion like it, it, I feel like it also it is a, a net positive for many many reasons, but it also would help people like there's almost like a a, a rule book to how to be a good Robert, person. Yeah. Like to like, I'm not. Saying, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I think it's fucking yeah. great. It does keep a lot of people in check and everything else. I just don't know if I buy into like the underlying thing. I think the idea that you should be a good human and then when you die, you'll have a better time. That's a great idea. I, think I agree with that 100. percent I just don't think I'm like. I think I'm more of a spiritual. Like, do I think there's a greater power out there? Yes. Do I think that when we die, nothing happens and you're just sitting there in blackness? Like, no, that sucks. I don't want to believe that. So I got to believe something else. But do I believe that like every line in the Bible is fucking true and Adam and Eve actually existed? Or if we go to Judaism or Muslim, it doesn't matter. Pick any of the religions. Like I don't buy all the actual individual things in there. I don't know. I don't know what that makes me. I don't think I'm like atheist, but I also just like, I don't buy every single thing in there. I, I, I guess the, the negative connotation I've had with my experience with 
uh, a lot of like religious discussions is that like whenever I, I, I have a thought, the people who are very opinionated in one way or the other either like basically like badger me down and like yeah. make either feel like I'm, I'm stupid, wrong, an idiot, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, whatever. And that's, so it's, I, I feel like I have this like, this like headbutting experience with it, especially from like my past of why I feel the way I do. But the other, the other part of me almost feels like, I don't know if it's like a, like, I don't want to say like a cop out, but like, it's almost like it, it might just make, everything easier to, because what if, what if it is all accurate? I think I, someone got it right. I think, I think I'd rather, the, there's a movie where they're like joking at the end. It's like, they, I think it's, this is the end or whatever. They like all end up in hell. They're like, all of us are here. And it's like, yeah, like actually turns out like Mormons were the ones who got it right. Like the Mormons are the ones who got, someone might be right. There's so many religions, dude. There's like fucking a hundred of them. Yeah. That's just like the mainstream ones. And then you have all these like crazy little church of satan and everything i mean there's i'm sure there's millions of religions out there it's like someone's maybe right maybe no one's right i don't know it's also once you bring money into it it ruins it for me yeah too. yeah yeah that's yeah. the hard part too is like why are joel Olstein? like why is someone that has a church worth 200 million dollars this doesn't something's not adding up i don't think i don't think you need to have a private jet if you're a preacher like i don't I don't, I don't like a business model like why is there yeah. why is there a money making aspect to this if it's real and you want us to like okay i get it why is anyone making that kind of money on this? I, I guess what it confuses me so much is because there's so many different, there's literally a million different possibilities yeah. and a million people, people telling you what's like, what's accurate and what's not. And I, at the end of the day, it all comes down to, I think what you believe and you and like your, what, like how you live your life. Um, but I don't know. I, I had this, like, I have this, like, it's more of like a, I always fear talking about it. Cause I feel like either people are going to, try to convert me to what they believe or something rather than just like letting, I can never just like talk. It's a very opinionated uh, topic. The other problem too is like people that really believe it. If you believe it at all, you have to believe it a hundred percent. You almost can't like put your toe in the water, right? Cause like if you believe the aspect that like, if I don't do right, I'm going to hell. That's terrifying. I have to, if I believe that aspect of it, I have to go full into it. Cause I don't want to go to hell. That's fucking, but then there's aspects of like, make sure that your friends and family also believe. So it's like, if, if I'm even a little bit, Christian, it's almost my duty to make sure that you're, I, you should be Christian. I should make sure that you, you also join us. Cause like, I don't want you to, if I genuinely believe that if you're not Christian, you're going to burn in hell. Like I, I kind of need you to believe. So now if you're like, I don't believe it, like, no, 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 you have to, I'm not going to let my friend burn in hell. It's like one of those things where it's like very polarizing. You can't be like half in half out. Cause if you're half in half out, then you're, I feel like it's one of those things you can't believe in it at all or not at all. Like, so, so what would you say? I feel like my opinion is, and, and I got, I, I'd have to go down rabbit hole. Like I almost be like, I need a whole bunch of people to try to convince me of their version and yeah. whatever makes the most sense. I'm going to like go with that because there's no, I don't think like no one can, there's, there's a million different angles. So if I like evolution to me makes a lot of sense, makes a lot of sense when I look at it, but then it makes a lot of sense. And there's no divisions, but there's also like you go in, I feel like on the grand scheme of things, when you're saying like, you just look at the world, bro. Like think, like we're literal. We're. Have you ever just like thought about humanity, bro? Just bags of blood. Oh my god, no! I think about this all the time. Like, we're like a, an alien race, bro. Because, I mean, we we build, we we develop other humans in us, and then shove them out of our butts. Well, it's and, all animals, but yeah. But it's just our crazy. Butts. We we make other little versions of us grow inside yeah. of. Like, how does that? How? Dude, you want to fuck that. Look at uh, what? like clownfish and stuff. Look at animals that can, or like, I think uh, cuttlefish that can like switch sex. So like if there's a bunch of female clownfish in a tank together, one of them can turn into a male so they can keep having babies. How the fuck does that work? Cuttlefish is what they ate in... Um, Asparagus and cuttlefish. Is, is what they ate in... Uh, <laughs> Human centipede. Human centipede, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, that's a real thing. Like there's been like tanks where they'll have like a bunch of female clownfish in a tank and then they have babies and like how is this possible it's like because one of them flipped their sex to male and impregnated the other one like how that's it's crazy to me this is about aliens cuttlefish and like octopus are fucking aliens dude like watch videos on octopus like they are alien creatures <sighs> man i just really I, smart, it's a, they can regenerate. I just i feel like everyone everyone like is everyone just wants answers right and everyone has like an idea and i feel like a lot of times whenever i just have like questions people just end up pushing their, I don't want to say agenda, but like pushing their beliefs onto me. 
That's why I like I like the evolution side of it because like regardless of what you believe in, the evolution thing works. Like if I have a Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and Hindu person all at the same table, like evolution accounts for all of us. Makes sense. If I go to the religious path, like now we're arguing on cross all four because can't all be right. Someone's got to be right. What do you think the purpose of life is? I don't fucking know. I think anyone knows. Do you ever I think to to further our species? Really, right? I mean, that's the underlying point. Yeah, to like, but I don't know what the end goal is. I don't think there is an end goal. You just keep going. Mm-hmm. And look at animals that go extinct. They they failed. <laughs> like right, like we go extinct, we failed as a species. I think. I mean, if you take out humans, have emotions and everything else. If you look at like from an animal's perspective, their only fucking thing they're doing is furthering their species. So I would assume humans are the same. We just happen to develop complex language and opposable thumbs. So now we build shit and do all kinds of weird shit. But at the end of the day, I think it's still just to further our species, right? I think. Sometimes I get like really, really, this is usually when I'm sitting down in the shower in the morning. Really high. <laughs> no, when I'm <laughs> sitting down in the shower in the morning, I sit a lot in the shower. Yeah. I take like 35 minute showers and I sit down, butt naked, I mind you. I would hope so. And uh, like, I just think about, I think the older I get, the more I think about life. That's not good. What Can't do you mean? Do that. You're depressed. No, no, no. I'm not the more you think about life, the more you're gonna like get weird about it. Well, I, I, I guess, I guess, I just, I look at it like this, and, and, and this is just like my brain going out loud. Yeah. Is I always like to look, and this is what I think a lot of people should do. Like with with Taylor, for example, I I look to where I want to be with Taylor in five to ten years, and what I mean by that is. Like I'm like, okay, we're gonna build this house. We're gonna start having a family, and I want to I want to change the way that I'm living right now to uh, to just I want to just be at home with my family. Like I, I really mm. don't don't want the same stress of, of of work and everything because like have you ever just like thought about like how you go day by day? Like unless some monumental thing happens, like that is what you are going to do indefinitely. Yeah, I don't want to. I love what if I'm doing, well. but like. Thinking like that's the best case scenario. Like is is me waking up at seven, giving Taylor a kiss goodbye, walking dude, you know, get in my car, drive to work, sit at the computer, uh, you know, go to the gym, go home, cook food, watch a show, go to bed. There's got to be more to life. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, and I can't wait to go on the journey with. Yeah, it's called t- retirement later in life. I mean, go do that for a while. Yeah, but even retirement, bro. Like retirement is not. Like, what do you do when you retire, Joe? Travel. Most people go see stuff. I think as you get older, the experiences become more important than the materialistic stuff. Yes. Like as I get older, I don't think I'm going to care enough about like, oh, I bought the new GT3. I think I'm going to care more about like, I want to take my family to the mountains and let's go to a beach and let's experience things together. Is that why when you're like your parents, like when I was like 15, my mom, my stepdad were like, we're going to Grand Canyon. I was like, I don't want to go to the fucking Grand Canyon. They're like, no, we're going to go. It's going to be a great time. And I hated every second of that. But now I'm like. That's now nice. I, yeah, now I'd be like, damn, I'd be good. I'd go down yeah, the I Grand think Canyon. As we get older, it's like experiences. Because that's like, you really can't, I mean, you can put a price on it. But like, at the end of the day, it's like that memory, I think, is more important than the. Bro, getting, Deep, old, man. getting old is, getting old is weird. I, I actually, um, when I brush my teeth at night, I like look at my, my hair while I'm doing that. Got some grays. I'm getting, I'm getting, it's starting to, it like a year ago or something, or a couple years, it was like, I, oh, there's one. Now, I got I got like seven or eight on the side. I've never had a gray hair yet. I'm 29, but I have noticed that like up here at the top is starting to push back a little bit. I looked at a YouTube video from two years ago, and it doesn't look like it's moved over two years. So I think it's just like kind of slow. But like, if I look at my dad, he's the same way. Like my hairline's gonna push back by the time I'm 40. I it'll can be- I can see, and I don't mean this in a mean way, Joe, yeah. but I can see your scalp. Here on the front, under your hair, like yeah. I can see. Yeah, that's gonna. I'm gonna have to get like a hair transplant. My, I think I have a strong hairline. Yeah, you do. Some guys, like I've always had. I mean, even when I was little, I have like widow's peak, whatever that's called. Yeah, like, I have always had like the like widow's peak where it goes up. That's gonna be the first to go though. The back of my head's good. I've like gotten a mirror and stuff. Like I'm not thinning in the back at all or anything like that. It's my hairline's gonna push up. When when you I'm get older, like KSI here pretty soon, dude. That dude has the biggest forehead I've ever seen in my life. The YouTuber, yeah, dude, his forehead's huge. I'm, I, I'm, I'm embracing the gray hair. Like, if if I go I'm full cool gray, gray, I'd rather. To be fair, I'd rather go gray than lose my hair. I would much rather if you said, "Hey, you have a perfect hairline, but it's gonna be fucking white." Cool, let's do that. So, so you you would do a hair transplant rather than just. Im- it like- depends on the age. I think I think it looks good on like people when they're like late forties, fifties, sixties. Like, I don't problem. Like, like my dad's hairline is 
obviously way further back than mine. I've never looked at them and be like, you need a hair transplant. I think when you're like early 30s and it pushes back too far. Like look at, uh, you know, Jude Laws. The actor? Actress? Yeah, actress. actor. He's had like a very, very hard receding hairline since he was like 20. But it's like part of his character. I don't even look at him and notice it. I'm like, oh, that's that's. Wait, just is that Jude person. Law the guy from Law Jude, and Order? Jude Law. Uh, no, he played. Uh, it's in a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I'll show him to you after this. He is somebody that, like, when he was twenty something years old, he already had like a little patch of hair here and like nothing on the sides. But it's just like part. Like I don't look at him and think it's weird. Like it's it's a normal thing. I think it happens. Like if, if this happens over the next five years, where I notice like, all right, it's really like I'll, I'll do a hair transplant. But if it maintains here, like I'm cool with it. I don't care. Well, I mean, has it gotten as it has it? That's what I'm saying. I looked at a video from me from two years ago, and I don't notice any major difference. The only thing I noticed in difference two years ago, and I look at videos of you, is you were half the man. The yeah. TRT is blasting through you. Yeah, I haven't worked out in like two weeks, and I'm like feel stronger and better. How much do you weigh right now? Two fifteen. God, which is actually the same weight I've always. I've I've literally been two fifteen for the last four years of my life. I'm just a little bulkier now. That's what seven hundred milligrams of TRT will do twice twice a week. Will do seven hundred twice a week. I'd be dead. Or you'd be jacked, one or the other. Maybe. Um, I have a... I gave blood the other day because of that, and now I have a... It's bruised, dude. Look at that. It's still there. It's not going away. Um, you know how we had a Joe... What did I call it? Joe thoughts? Yeah. Um, I have a Max thought, which is going to be the opposite. Instead of you having really clever, like, br super smart ways... Yeah. Sometimes I think about stuff, and I'm like, this sounds so stupid. Like falling through the earth? No, falling through the earth made sense, okay. bro. Continue. I don't even want to talk about flat earth. Because I've been listening to some stuff about that, and some of it makes sense. No, it doesn't, but all right. But it, some of it does. It doesn't. But some of it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't at all. Have you seen the video on YouTube of the guy that, like, proves himself wrong? Oh, like oh with the light? Earther, the he's light? like, yeah, but you hold it here, it's definitely flat. It, like, doesn't work, and it works the other way, and he's like, oh. Okay, um, I have something really stupid to right. talk about. <sighs> Man, this is going to sound dumb. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we look at old people, I don't want to, what, what do we call them? Elderly. Elderly people. Okay. When you, no, I think we can Senior say. Senior citizens. When we look at elderly people. Okay. Old people is not, they are old people. I, I, I'm, I agree with you, dude. Old people, fat people. <laughs> that's not Midgets. What I'm, no. All of these are acceptable no. in my book, dude. No. You're going to cut that out. Don't cut that out. That's God damn it, Joe. Continue. <sighs> yeah. Okay. When we look at older people, let's say, let's say 60 up. 60 up. Careful, dude. My dad's watching this. He's 61. He's going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> you know, right now he's like. Okay, 62 and up. 65. 65 and up. I think I think you're elderly. Like, honestly, I think like 70 nowadays. Okay. Yeah. Okay, when we look at them, we acknowledge they are older people. Okay. Okay. I look at you and I think you, that's an no, older person. No, no, no. When you look at me, we're like same mm. age people. You're old as fuck. Do you think that older people who look at older people, like the older people that look at the same like people their age. At like, oh, okay. No, no, no. Do 70-year-olds look at 70-year-olds? Like, like you look the same the past, like, as long as I've known you. Yeah. The, the, the people that I went to high school with, when I see them now, I'm like, oh, yeah, they're like the same person, right? Do you think older people see older people as the same? Like, they're like, you don't look old. You look like Joe. No. No, they, they like know. when we're 70, is yeah. it like, are we going to perceive? Well, because I see you every day. If we see each other every day, then no, we probably just look the same. Think about dude. Like from dude as a puppy to dude to now, like probably looks the same to you. Like, like Senna looks the same to me as if she was a puppy. I don't notice any like, difference. Like, like here's the way I think about it. Like, so my mom and everyone's coming in for, for Christmas, right? Yeah. And sometimes like I'll be hanging out with my mom and I, and I have to, God, these, these, this is what goes on in my brain. I'm like, at one point, my mom was younger and she was like my because instead of her thinking of her as a a a, 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 a parent or yeah. an older person, I'm like she's just like me back in the day, but older. It's crazy how that works. Yeah. So instead of like conver I like look at God. This is sounding so stupid, bro. No, but like I look at people differently now because yeah. I start thinking that they were just people like they were just younger old at one people point. People like us. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Old people, although slow and dangerous <laughs> behind the wheel, can still serve a purpose. No, I, but do you, do you get what no, I'm saying? No, I know saying? what you're saying. I, I had the hardest time like coming to the realization that like our parents were just us. Yeah. Like as a kid, you always think like, oh, my mom and dad know everything. Like I can ask them any question. Like they know everything. They're parents. Yeah. 
yeah, having the realization now of like, no, like it, if I had a kid right now, my kid's gonna look at me and be like, he he knows everything. I can, I know what the fuck I'm doing? Yeah, in my head, I'm always like, oh my God, parents knew what, say when te- I, I always think the same thing about teachers. Like I thought my elementary school teachers were like these fucking deities that like all knowing beings of everything. Turns out- Beans? Beings. Okay. Beings. Beans. Turns out they didn't know shit. They're fucking kids that got out of college that wanted a job and hate everything. And that makes a lot more sense why they were such shitty teachers. But like, I always thought teachers were like this crazy smart thing. No, some of them are. That's how a lot are. of time when I, when let, let's say I'll be working on my Jeep or like doing something and I go, oh, I, I need to take this to like a, a mechanic or something. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. They're well, just watching the video. No, they're they just fucking. They de- well, what I think I, I go, they're just a person. I, like they're not, they're just a person. I had when I, I took, I'm a person. I took my first GT3 to the Porsche dealership to get it, uh, the exhaust put on. And I like, they let me cause I was filming it. So like, yeah, like, come on, like you can film us, do it. Bro, they were just watching videos on YouTube. Like the guy couldn't figure out what size bold. He like Google, like what's I'm like, y'all don't know what you're doing either. You're just paid by Porsche and you have a little jacket on, but like y'all are the same as us. Like I could have done this in my garage. Do you, it's a crazy concept. I'm like, what do you, th- so I have the same mindset when I have you, have you ever gone to therapy? No, I probably should, but no. Because I've always, I've always, I've never gone to therapy that I know of. I said I paid for a therapist. I feel like when I was a get, kid, I, my parents made me go talk to someone. I didn't have any weird tendencies as a kid. Um, I paid for a therapist to get Cinna certified as a, I don't think I'm allowed to say that, but I paid a therapist to make sure that Cinna was a service animal so I could get her into my apartment. Which she is. She is, le- I mean, she is actually, she has a little card and ID and everything. So- Whenever people would talk to me about, or talk, whenever I would hear about people going to therapy, I would always write off the idea of therapy because You're I, not crazy. well, not only am I not crazy, but I also would just go like, they're just a, it's just, a, it's just another person. Like, like why, like, yeah. like someone else is going to tell me how to live my life better than me. No, no way. What is your thought about therapy? Because it's one of those things that like, I feel like this, okay, I'm going to say this for, I feel like the, the stigma that I have against therapy is that you only go to therapy if you have a very clear underlying issue, right? And, and I like to think of myself, I'm like, I have no yeah. issues and I, I'd have to be a crazy person to go to therapy. And I think that's stupid the way that I think. That's what I think too. But I also, I'm kind of interested and scared as to what would happen because I'm like, oh, I don't need problems or anything. But I go in and they would just go, so like, what did you do today? Would they start there and then they start diving they down? They find a problem in you because they want to get paid. They got to get you to come back. Yeah, I don't, I've never been, I, I have no desire to go to therapy. That's why I told at one point, I was like, I don't, I don't know why I would go to therapy in the first place. But everyone that goes to therapy says I, it's the best. I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty self-aware dude. Like I know I got some problems and I, I, I think, think that I know that I have problems. Like I don't need to go to therapy. Like I already know what my problems are. I don't think therapy is going to help these problems. Like, like I have a lot of anxiety all the time. I don't think therapy is going to help with that. I think it's just part of me. It's part of life. And I'm going to move on. I also just like, I don't know. I come from like a family and my dad that was like that. Like, Oh, something's wrong. Like suck it up. Not in a bad way. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but like you fucking red pill society. Like you don't go to, th- you know, like you're a man, you don't need fucking therapy. It's probably a terrible way to think about it. Like, I know that's probably the worst thing to think of, but like, okay. If I look at society now, where like guys are more open about going to therapy and doing things like that. Like, I think it's worse. I think as as humans, we were better off like 50 years ago when fucking men were men. Yeah. Now I'm like, I don't know this is a great thing. Like maybe I shouldn't be as into my emotions. Well, I, I feel like therapy, so you said you're like self-aware of like issues that you have. Yeah. I think the issues that I have aren't going to be helped by therapy. Isn't it wild? You, you made a comment. I wanna, I'm going to just do a little yeah. side tangent here. You said like, oh, I'm, I, I do something because like that's when I was younger, I did this. You ever heard the, the defense and the people have just accept it, but it's like, oh, I I, I, that's how I was raised, right? It's like a, a worldly accepted. It's like, oh, he was raised like, like he was raised. Some of it. He was raised like that, so he can't help it. Yeah, I mean, okay, it that's depends a, what it is. That's side tangent. You come out wearing a white fucking coat. <laughs> like this is how I was raised. Like <laughs> no, not, I don't know if that works. No, <laughs> that, 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 you pull that, one that off. does not work. Um, you said you're self aware of like issues that you have. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wanted, I want to, I want to have a little therapy session, Joe. All right, let's do it because. I like to think I'm self-aware too. And I've always been like the, I don't need therapy because I, I understand my shit and I can just improve okay. on it. But a lot of times, like, do you catch yourself doing things that you know are like not, like I'm not talking about stealing or something, but like you, you like maybe 
interact with someone in a certain way and then afterwards you're like, oh, I did like I, I did that thing again. Yes. Like for me, there's a lot of times that I'll be um, like I'll be talking to Taylor and I will like it, it's like she'll ask me a question about like something that just happened. And in my mind, I'm like. The, the, the thing that happened that like you want to know about is irrelevant information. Like it, it doesn't matter to anyone. It's, it's pointless and it's going to spend more energy for me to explain yeah, yeah, yeah. it. So I almost say like, like it, it's nothing. And she'd be like, well, like, what was it? I'd be like, it, it, it was nothing. Like it just not. And I'm more like, why, why won't I just explain like what happened? Like, I, I feel like I have a really bad lack of patience a lot of times too. Like, I feel like I don't want to like wait for anything. Yeah. And I think the core issue with a lot of, a lot of things is more as like, why do you feel that way? Like, why, why, why do you get upset when this happens? Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to be, I, I'm trying to like, I don't know how, like. I can't help you. So just like, just therapy, like. I don't, I don't think that's even a thing. So like my biggest thing, which I've probably done multiple times, I'm very bad about like, if I know what you're going to say next, I will complete your sentence for you. And then I'll take over from there. Like, I don't yep. need to hear you. Like, I'm, I don't want to wait. I, I'm so bad at people don't want to tell me stories because halfway through the story, I'd just be like, oh, and then this and this. And that. Okay, cool. Like, shut the fuck up. Now let me go. Like, I'm yeah. good. And I'll cut people off a lot. So I would guarantee someone. Like, I do that all the time. I, I think in my head, I'm like, oh, I know what you're going to say and what I'm going to say is more important. So I'm just going to overwrite you. How, how do That's you? That's a fucked up way to think. But Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it's like, does therapy would help these things? I was actually explaining. Here's another situation. Um, I was explaining to Taylor the other day that whenever... Taylor's always commented that like when she calls me, it feels like I'm like annoyed to be on the phone. And I've told because she knows that I I hate I'm so bad about it. But this. I hate being on the phone. And I actually tried to break it down the other day. And I was like, okay, like why? I tried to explain to her of like, hey, I'm not trying to be rude and sound like I'm trying to be short on this conversation. But I was like, the I feel like the reason why I hate being on the phone is because every experience I've had on the phone at this later stage of my life is Someone calls me because there's a problem. They need something from me. So I know when I pick up that phone, um, like someone's like, I'm going to have to like do something I don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And that's like the experience or it's like a telemarketer, right? So I'm just like, it's like, I I'm annoyed every time my phone rings because of all these bad experiences. And I've had a lot of experiences where every time the phone rings, someone would want something for me. So now I assume that every time someone calls me that I just don't want to talk on the phone. And a lot of times I'm like, why, like, why don't I just have more patience and like talk to Taylor when she calls me just to call me about anything. And I'm more like, like, Hey, like when I answer the phone, it's like, I, I feel like I'm being rude. I'm like answering. I'm like, 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 Hey, like, like, w w like, what's up? Like, what do you like? Yeah. I, I say it like, what do you need? Yeah. I do that a lot. And I'm like, how do you, how do you improve things that you realize are problems? I think if you know it's a problem and you can work on it, you don't need to go to therapy. Like I've, I've realized that I can be very, dickish towards people sometimes. So like I, I worked the other day, I was pissed off, stupid shit. One of the guys that works with me, like said something, I, I didn't snap at him, but I, I was kind of like, a, like, okay, cool. And I like, put my headphones on and just ignored what the fuck he said. Cause I'm like, I, I just want to focus on this. Don't talk to me. And then later on I sent him a text. I'm like, Hey, like, sorry about earlier. Like you're killing it. You know, keep going. Like, don't, don't pay any. I think as long as you can, as long as you're self-aware enough to know like, Oh, I did that. And I should probably rectify it. Then I feel like you're good. Someone's probably like, no, you definitely need therapy. But like, I feel like if I'm aware of what I'm doing and I'm trying to make it better, I probably don't need to go to therapy. I think the bigger issue is like if everyone around you is like, Max, this is your fucking problem. And you're like, no, I don't have that problem. Now you probably need to go to therapy. Like if everyone was like, Max, you're terrible to talk to on the phone. And you're like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you should probably go to therapy. The fact that you know, like maybe just work on it. I'm the same way. I hate, dude. I feel so bad sometimes when like my mom wants to call me and just talk. Like I love my mom more than anything, but like, I'm doing something like I'm, I'm on the computer. I'm doing something like I don't, yeah. I don't care. I'm like, please stop calling. Like we're good. Yeah. I do, I do the same thing. With my mom, like when my mom calls, I'm just yeah. like, 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 so what are you doing later? I'm like, I, does it matter? That, that's how, that's <laughs> why I, I, I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm, I try to be like a nice guy, but I, I feel like I come off rude a lot to people because my sarcasm and my like, I don't know, bro. Like now I think I, I need therapy. The yeah. Dude, the story thing. Like, all right, again, if my mom watches, I love my mom so much, but she does this thing where when she's telling you a story, she has to make sure that you know, everybody in the story it has nothing to do with the story. Mm -hmm. So my mom be like, yesterday I saw, it'll be a story about her going to the store. And she's like, yeah. And then I ran into like Kathy, like 
Cindy's mom, you know, like went to this high school, like did this. And like, I, I don't know. And like, well, like, you know, like, like Cynthia's mom that I'm like, does this have any, like, does that have anything to do with the story? I think it's different personality like, types. No, like, well, why the, f like, we're going to spend 10 minutes of you trying to tell me who Kathy is. And the whole thing is that you ran into Kathy. That's not even the main story. We're going somewhere else right after this. That I feel bad because sometimes I'm like, all right, go, like, come on, like, let's move on. Let's. And then I feel like an asshole because I'm like, she just wants to tell me about the story. And I'm just like, nope, come on, like, move, move. I don't know how you, I don't know. Maybe we go to therapy, dude. Maybe we both go to therapy. Well, I, I think it's important to be self-aware. therapist on the podcast. I've thought about doing that, but we then could I'm too do, we'll, we'll go there, put the therapist I'm here. too afraid that I'll just start crying out of Why nowhere. Would you cry? I'm terrified of ayahuasca. Like the shrooms, like people take ayahuasca and then it unlocks shit in your brain that you like blocked out. I'm pretty confident there's nothing in my brain that like I need to block out. But like uh, I used to watch, ironically enough, radio host Jason Ellis, really cool dude. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him in years. But he did like an ayahuasca trip and it turned out during the like ayahuasca thing. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. I don't know. During his trip, he like remembered that like his father molested him and shit. He had no fucking clue. And then after he called out his mom about it, because his dad had passed away, he called out the mom and the mom was like, I'm so sorry, like, I never told you I didn't want to bring it. And he's, he had no fucking, like before he went into that, he had no clue that happened in his childhood. And he had unlocked all of that. And then he has to deal, and I'm like, I almost would rather not want to remember anything. Like, I think I'm good. In my head, nothing traumatic has ever happened to me. I don't think I want to know if something did. I guess, I guess, I, I, I guess I've always thought of therapy as like a weakness. And I, yeah, and I it think shouldn't, so. I think if, if, to... if I go, if I, if I admit that I would like want to talk to a professional, it's cause I'm yeah. weak as a man. And well, I, that's, I mean, that's been the fucking status quo for 50 years. I think, I think when so our parents were like the fucking dudes working at Ford on the assembly line and shit, if you were like, oh, I need to go to therapy today, like you're a fucking pussy, get back on the line and work. That's, I mean, that's man mentality for the last hundred years in the U S really everywhere. Yeah. But then I'm like, there's a, there's a fine line because the more we're okay with that, the more men be a little bit feminine. I don't think I'm like a red pull guy. I don't think, you, I don't think it's don't being think, feminine to go no, therapy. No, but I think the more you're open with touch with feelings emotions, and yeah. stuff, then the more you're open to other things, the more you care about other people. It just keeps kind of... Turns out caring about other people is feminine. I just think the average man is less of a man now than we used to be. And I, a little bit of that is probably due to us being more open to doing things that aren't manly. I, I don't think, know if that's a good thing. I don't know if I want my dad to be very emotional and open about it. Like, I, I think I want my dad to be a father figure that's a very masculine man. Yeah, but I think bottling things up that don't make sense is probably not a good thing as well. I mean, it, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. It worked out well for a lot of people. You know, a lot I'm, of very successful men that are menly men that don't fucking go to therapy and shit are very successful in life. I kind of want to go to therapy. I'm down I just to get wanna, a therapist I just on see the pod. I think that's a good idea. But is that like two purse? Like, I don't know if they would even do it because there's like like client privilege. Well, stuff. I, I like, think I, don't I even think know. if you're saying, "Hey, this is my show," I'd love yeah. But I don't know if they would be open to like having people watch their methodology and stuff. Because like, what if they do a shitty job and then everyone's like, "This therapist is terrible." Like, oh. I don't even think it'd be probably be hard to find a therapist that would be willing. I also to do think therapy is probably a private thing, and you'd have to go a bunch of because I mean, what a therapy sessions? What like an hour, right? It ain't cheap. Well, I know, but like. You can't unlock every, like, it's going to take you 45 minutes just for them to even understand, like, what's going I, on. Maybe we do an ayahuasca trip. Apparently that unlocks it in, like, 10 minutes. Did you go with the shaman? To, like, I just need tent? to, I don't know, man. I, I feel like the older I get, the more I, like, I have a lot of these, like, deep, like, deep thoughts about just, like, stuff that I don't understand. Like, the, even, like, internal, because, you know, I say, like, oh, like, you're self-aware that I'm uh, short with people who call me, or I'm, I potentially say things that I don't, like, that I don't think are rude in my head, but probably come off rude. But like before that, when that situation happens, I don't in that moment go, it's happening. Wait, okay, Max, this person's no, calling, hindsight. but it's, it's, but I'm like, how do you improve on that? And you know, I was, I actually want to talk to my, so my, my brother, my whole family's coming down. Um, I'm gonna have my brother on the podcast and then I really want to dive in with him. Um, but, uh, I was telling Taylor that, you know, so my dad passed when I was 15 and I was telling her that I was trying to like, it's like my whole memory of my childhood, and it could be because I was young, right? Yeah. But it's like my whole childhood is literally, it was like my dad and my brother is like all I can remember, and everything else was just like, oh, those people were there too. Yeah. But it's like everything's like blurry because of like I have this, all I can remember is my childhood is these like specific memories of like my dad and my, me and my brother. And I don't know why I'm like, I feel like my brain is like clogging up of my stepmom, my grandma, my, you know, 
my sister didn't live with me at the time, but like, yeah. it's like all these things, but like all I can remember, I can barely remember my childhood before I started being like literally Jeep Max. That's a, I mean, that's a super traumatic event too. Like I think for someone that's gone through a very traumatic event as a child or a young adult, probably therapy is going to be more beneficial for someone like you than like someone that's led a very easy life up until now. I get, I get, I guess. Like I don't think anything crazy has ever happened to me. I mean, there's some crazy shit, but like I haven't had any very traumatic experience that I like want to work through where like you have a very traumatic experience that you could probably work through. Sometimes I, sometimes I feel like whenever I like reference like the passing of my dad, I almost feel like it's like a, like, I wonder, like, is it, is some people be like, yeah, we get it. Your dad passed away. You can't, you can't relate to that. To you can't yeah. associate that with every thing that goes on in your life. No, there's also a difference that happening at fucking 15. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's like fundamental age to you. Yeah. You should probably go to therapy, dude. I want to go to a card reader. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Oh, <laughs> like just, just to see oh. if they get close. Dude, there's so there's like one's like there's five dollars. Tara, yeah. Tara car. Yeah, yeah. Call me now, Miss Cleo. I've I always wanted to like. I always want to go in and mislead them and let them think they're so that when they're like, oh, like someone close to you with a Y in their name, like oh my god, like yeah, like Yasmin, like yeah, mommy. Just let them like go way off the trail and then like all the way at the end, and be like, all right, look, actually, you were wrong about fucking everything. You're a scam artist. And, what but happens then, like, if at the end, yeah? What if they're right the whole? Like, what if I go in and they're immediately like, get this, this? I don't, I, I kind of want to go. We should do that. We should get one of those people on the podcast. They would never do it because they just get exposed. I just want to go to therapy to f- see what it is. But I don't want to be those people that like you go in and it's just like. It's all online now. This you is can do stup- it online. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I, phone no, call. No, no, no. That's, I did the phone call for Senna for, to get my dog. That was crazy. They're like, do you ever like have problems if you're not around your dog? I'm like, yeah, like I. Well, Without see, my dog, I can't survive. And here's, you know, ties in. So I've done some promotion for uh, BetterHelp, which is an, an online yeah. therapy. Uh, Holy pro- shit, is this pro- your segue? No, no, no. That would have been wild. No, no, That's no. That's no. what you, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> um, and I think it's fine to promote things that you necessarily, like for me, for example, like I think therapy is a great thing. And I think that having virtual therapist is a fantastic tool for a lot of people. But me specifically, I, want in person? I, w- one, I would not do on a computer. W- yeah, like I wouldn't. I, I just wouldn't. But I can. I can. I. That's just me. All I know about therapy is like what I see in horror movies. I feel like it's always a therapist in a horror movie. Um, and if and if I went to therapy, I would want to lay down on a on a couch, like and a wanna, chair, like, like the, the fucking tufted leather chair. Mm-hmm. Like, like, yeah, I'd want to lay down. Do they do Do they actually sit there and write little notes? What are they writing? I don't know. I don't know who my ideal therapist. Do they is just in my head. Do they just cut you off at the end? Like like so yeah, and then. So now was the day that, you know, uh, the traumatic experience. Oh, so, ah, you put $30 in and keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know. Like, how, how does that work? I, I, they probably make you wrap up. Like, can I just have like a time. six hour therapy session? I'm sure someone will do it. It's probably one of the scenes that you need to like, it's like dog training. You can only go 30 minutes at a time. Yeah. Yeah. You probably unlock more if you like, don't try to do it all at once. You have to you go home and think about it for a while and then interact with Taylor and dude and think about your experience and then go to another session and. You should do it. Let me know how it goes. I'll, I'll hold off on going. We'll see if it, if it makes you worse, then I'm not going to go. Let me ask you, the, kind of, this is a long ch- chat yeah, about yeah. this, but I think this is good stuff. Um, this has been good for me. I really like this. It's um, therapy? It's kind of like therapy. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what, let's say you were, uh, I'll ask your opinion. I know uh, you, you are not in a relationship, but like if you went to therapy mm-hmm. and you came home and you're like, would you expect your significant other to like like respect the th- the the session that you had or like do you like do you, you talk about today? do you explain what happened or is that like personal or are they going to be upset if you don't talk to them or like w- one thing that i've ever thought about I, it's not like i've been thinking about therapy 24 7 but like like I'm, I'm almost like would that make my significant other feel any type of way of like why can't you talk to me about that because in my head i'm like oh why do i need to go to therapy i can just talk to taylor I no no. There's definitely things like I've been in relationships, and there's things like I don't want to talk about with my significant other. I feel like that's totally acceptable. Like I don't expect. But why? I I feel like I could. Like I, I would share anything with Taylor. Like any quite anything. I don't have anything to hide from her. I don't know. Do you? I think, wouldn't want to look vulnerable. I guess. Do you think people who go to therapy like talk about what they did in therapy to their person? I think maybe like high level gloss over it. See, I'm like, I, see, now I'm stressed. It's like, would therapy add a strain on my relationship? Because I would have to relive the therapy, even if I had a bad, like, what if I had a, and, and Taylor would never, I'm just saying like, 
These are, I don't know. This is what goes on know. in my head, bro. I don't know. Oh, dude, why don't you just not even say you're going to therapy? Say you're I'm going to hide from Taylor that I'm going. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, See, that's where yeah, I fucked yeah, up, I'm, brand. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to lie about I'm, this. I'm, I'm getting text every, every like, once a week from like a Susie or something. Like, who's that? No one. No, 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 yeah, no one. Don't worry no about one. it. And then it's like uh, the therapist. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. You do couples therapy. I just take her with you. No, I think cu- uh, no couples therapy is for like. See, that's another thing. Every single person that's like, oh, we don't need couples therapy. It's like you need couples therapy. I think it's the same as I don't need therapy. I no, don't no, know. No, 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 no. It's no, one of those I, things that like we've existed a long time without this shit, and now it's available. And it's like, do you use the tools at your disposal, or do you stick to like the I don't need this shit? Well, I guess in my like, head, my dad never needed it. His dad never needed it. Why do I need it? Am I less of a man? That's that's what I'm saying, bro. And I'm like, why can't you and I just sit down, have some wine? And have a good cry session. Can. I think people that it's the it's the the well, dogs. Have a cry session what, what's the dirty di- the dirty dogs? What do they call it? What? Woo, 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 woo. What's that? It's the Ted Lasso. Oh yeah, yeah. When yeah, they yeah, do yeah, that, yeah. they can talk as men about their feelings. I think if you have a good friend group and stuff, see that's I don't know, I don't know. Joe, if I talked to you about my feelings, you would just make fun of me. I've made fun of you at all, but you would. I haven't. I'm, I'm I know I wouldn't. I mean, I'm been texting somebody this whole time. Like Max is a fucking pussy. I. Don't know. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. I don't think I need it. I don't think I want to go. I think I'm good. I cannot wait for the comments on this one. And uh, everyone's like, he definitely needs therapy. He's got some shit he's got to work through. Joe, we went from OnlyFans to we went to OnlyFans. It was AI. Yeah, okay. To we religion about OnlyFans. to therapy. I, you know, I'm curious to read the comments actually on the therapy thing. I think I will say. I've never met somebody that went to therapy and was like, don't do it. It was the worst <laughs> thing ever. Like, I've never heard a bad experience from therapy. So maybe that's a good sign. Like, maybe you should go. Would you want a male or female therapist? I feel like I'd open up more to a female. Yeah. I think so. But no, I think I would, yeah. I think if it's a couple's therapy, I want a man. Because I feel like he's going to side with me a little bit better. <laughs> like, I feel like he understands. Yeah, but, but just for look me, what I happened in Ted girl. Lasso, the the male therapist, the therapist. I don't couples. think I got that far. Oh man. shit! Yeah. Oh man! Just kidding, that didn't happen. Yeah, I don't think I got there yet. Mm-mm, doesn't yeah, matter. I what okay. I didn't say anything. Mm. Uh, oh, I meant to say this at the beginning. This is the final episode uh, until the new year. I'm taking. Is it? The, I'm taking the because next Monday is is Christmas. And it's either I push it to Tuesday, but then it throws. Okay, I, I feel like people are gonna be with their family and stuff. So I'm. We're gonna take one week off. It's not a new season coming back. It's just we're just going to start back up. Why didn't you start the new season at the new? It makes life easy. Well, now I don't need to do new seasons, bro. Yeah. Because the last time it was just like, oh, I moved. I got to like take a break so I can find more people to interview. Now all I got is my little inner circle. This is what the podcast is going to be. It's going to be Joe. It's going to be Taylor. It's going to be a our friends. Our therapist. I'll find this one. I could do it. See, I could be your therapist. And Give I me would, a book. I I'll write judge, down little notes. I would judge. Like if I went to therapy, I'd be like, I want to see, like, what kind of decor do they have? Is it a like? I want. I want. I want like a nice, you know. Like, do you when you give me? Wait, why do you care what kind of decor they have? Because I think it would change. Like, if you go into a, like a rinky dink fucking place with like a bunch of shitty like with like. A but if te- it's a really good therapist, I'd be like, why don't you have a nicer couch? Why do you have tears in your couch? Okay, tears in the couch would be weird for a therapist. But like, I don't think they need to have like a restoration hardware set up office with wood paneling and everything. What else. if you walked like, in the cool. lobby and there's a dead bug in the ground, dead cockroach, two of them? But he's the best therapist. Like, highly recommended. I think I give him a shot. Can you get Google reviews on therapists? Hundred percent. Yeah, it, everything's a business. That brings us back to like the here's my logic, the the Porsche technician or the guy doing your oil. Like, what if the therapist is just a guy that went to school to learn how to do therapy, but like doesn't actually know what the fuck he's doing? What if when you get out of the therapy session, a homeboy's going on his computer like on fucking Ask Jeeves, like, my client said this. What should I say to them next week? I think the requirements for my therapist, I think I would want, I think I would, I would pay a lot of money because I would, I would think that I, I need someone who has been doing this for a long, I need like an expensive one. I don't know why I think like that. Yeah, a cheap one might be better. Like how much is that? I like, have more time. Like $100 an hour? $500 I do, an I hour? I have no clue. I'm sure it gets up there. I'm sure there's not, I'm, I'm sure it's like anything else. Like you want the best of the best. I'm sure it's. So you, I don't know how much I value that. If I you're would better say like, at giving advice, you charge more money. I guess, I guess. Or, or if you're more in demand. You're I don't know, so dude. many hours in the day. We gotta, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta wrap this bad boy up. How much would you pay for therapy? What's an acceptable number? Like if you walked in, you're like, what's your hourly rate? Like what number are you like? Okay. Is, so we'll assume one session is one hour. Yeah. Once a week or something. I don't know. 
what I would pay. Like what's an hourly rate that you're like, all right, 100, 300, 300 an hour? Yeah. <laughs> Max rich as fuck. Six, no. I mean, that's like 1200 bucks a month. That's insane. To talk to me, I'll gladly charge you $300 an hour. I'll charge you $300 to be on this <laughs> podcast. Dude, let's go. I would think of like $50 an hour. But just I guess it depends how, how active you are. If you're like really bringing something to me, like, okay, but I feel like a lot of therapists are like, you, you talk to me. I feel like a lot of them don't really like give you. Sometimes I think when I spend more money on something, it's going to be a better version of I that. Think it's not. That's, that's true. But that's just who, I, that's just like. I would say a hundred would be like my like, okay. Anything over a hundred, I'm like, there's no I'd way. Also, I'd be worth. like, I need, I need them. Like I need to see a photo of them. Make sure they're like clean cut. Like I want someone who takes care of themselves. Mm. I'd have the vetting process. You're like a celebrity. I'd have to go into the therapist to have a, th I'd have a session with them to see if they qualify to, to talk. You think like a celebrity therapist would be better? Can you say anything in therapy? Yeah. Is it a, as long uh, as you're yeah. not going to hurt yourself or someone else, right? Yeah. yeah. But like yeah. they can't say anything. Yeah. What? I don't even think. Someone's I just don't know carrying around that many secrets. That. Yeah. I don't know what the laws on that of. Uh, so if, if you're going to actively hurt someone else. Right. The, uh, the, or yeah. yourself. But I don't know on like previous stuff. Like I don't know if like if you're a serial killer. if you No. I, they'd have to. I think they would just be like, I I'm not going to work with you. Yeah, but I, I don't know. If, well, no, they probably need therapy. Or too. if you, it was terrible, but if you were like, I, I beat my wife four years ago and you tell your therapist that, like, does the therapist legally, like, can he call the cops and be like, hey, just admitted to fucking beating his wife four years ago? I think it's only like future stuff. Like, I don't think, I think if you confess something you did in the past to a therapist, they can't say anything about it. There's a show about this. And there's like well, a, yeah, a Joe, show it, where it, like I mean, the, if, you go, if you go up to a cop and say, hey, I just, three nights ago, I snorted 17 pounds of Coke. That's different. If I went to a cop and said, hey, three years ago, I killed somebody and hit the body and never found it, like, I'm still going to get fucking jail. I don't know if your therapist is allowed to say, I think if you told your therapist three years ago, I killed somebody and got away with it, I don't know if they're legally allowed to say something. Someone tell us down below. I don't know, but uh, quite an interesting podcast. Hey, talking about celebrities, totally random. My green Porsche mm -hmm. is now owned by Britney Spears' manager. Thought that was a pretty cool tidbit of information. The Porsche dealership told me if that it was yesterday. If it was, if it was Britney Spears, it'd be way cooler, but it's a manager. He said it went to Beverly Hills, and I'm like, oh, like, who bought it? And he's like, oh, it's Britney Spears. Actually, manager. no, no, like, that's pretty cool, because in, because the way I look at it is that Britney Spears has now seen, seen your car. Porsche. She's probably riding it or something. Same thing. I do, dude. We've sent so much candy to Lil Yachty. You know who Lil Yachty's BFF is? Freaking Drake. Drake, Drake has seen sour strips? He has, Drake has tried sour strips? There's, he has to have. He has to have. Lil Yachty has literally, we've sent him so much candy. What can you imagine? Like next time a Drake album comes out, there's like a little random like sour strips like thing in there. You would lose your shit. You would, that that'd be pretty cool. Or like Eminem or somebody just dropped it. Didn't you send it to like Eminem's daughter or something? No, Christian sent. Oh my god, bro! Christian sent Alf. He sent a, a thing of like uh, like Haley's daughter was yeah. wearing Alphalete because oh, the, yeah, the yeah, guy yeah, she yeah. was dating at the time knew about Christian or whatever and like bought Alphalete for her. But then she sent a bunch of stuff and then Christian was like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." I'm like, "Pretty cool, Christian." Yeah. You think it's pretty cool that Eminem's daughter wears your clothes? You should be losing your freaking mind. Hey, I'm sure if John Mayer's kid had it, you'd be crying. Go crazy. Yeah. Christian loves John Mayer. Big John Mayer. I don't even ever listen to John Mayer. Besides, like, Christian, Christian he did, like, cries a in the shower to John Mayer. I used to live with him. I heard it. <laughs> what was he doing with those tears? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that will end this episode, episode number 65 of the Don't Be Sour show. New episodes every Monday, except for next Monday. Hope you guys have a amazing holiday break. What? What does it say behind my name? It says episode sixty-five oh, with again. Joe. I thought it was a C. I again, like, dot, dot, dot. Right. It's called parentheses. Yeah, I, I, your handwriting sucks. That's another thing I want to get into, bro. Because writing cursive. I know I I have such terrible handwriting, and I've tried to get it better. It looks like a little kid scribbled on this fucking notepad. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really bad. I have really good hand. I have like small. Little, does this look like a little kid to you? It's a little bit. Thank you so much. May, uh, wait, wait. If you're on YouTube, leave us a comment, five star review. Wait, no. Leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, if you're on like. any sort of like, like the video. If you're on any sort of podcast streaming service, give us a five star review. Don't know what it does, but I think it helps. New episodes every Monday, unless we don't have one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Joe's information will be in the description. Yeah, Not your YouTube channel. Exists, dude. I'm Instagram. Up. I'm Let's done. get him to 50,000. I'm a shell of a man. Thank you so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips and ever forward. Woof!
I think dude knows the outro because he's like, I got up. I'm <laughs> ready. Like, Let's go home. Yeah, dude is stretching over there. Hello. Come <sighs> here. Come here. Come on. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Dude, give a little sniff into this bad boy. Whoa. You just found your first hair on, hair on ball? No, I just got invited to Christian and Heidi's wedding. Oh, I thought you were going to say, hey, I just got a therapist. I bet you probably got the same thing. Wait, did you? It's going to be awkward if you didn't. I just got invited to Christian <laughs> Guzman's wedding. We're both going, dude.